Mandeville Revolver. It's the Mandeville items, I know that. But the skin. Oh, it's that one. I've seen that one before. Oh, I'm going to the thing real quick. Air Force One is on. Oh, okay. I guess we're doing that real quick. Might as well do some Air Force One while we're here. Free stuff is free stuff. Gun. Time to play a rail shooter. Good start for Christmas. We should we start doing a rail shooter and But we have my schoot links. So I my cat wants to come to me. Already mini game time. These bombs are being a little bit trickier than usual. Hey, I'm gonna click that. Kitty, no! He's breaking my concentration by sitting in front of the screen. <laughs> Bonus face still perfectly done, but there's a little bit hard of a cat in the way. She's looking at the at the at the game screen. Yeah, that's your shadow, kitty. What are you? Why are you surprised of your own shadow? Oh, that was close. Kitty, move! <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Pet, pet, pet. Looks like I'm petting the screen. But I was petting a cat that's in front of the other screen. She's now in front of my other screen, which means that I can see what I'm playing, but I can't see the chat right now. What are you, what are you grabbing at, kitty? I'm missing 50. Oh, there it is. Never mind. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, where's the 50? Oh, there it is. There's it. Here's your hair. Perfect score. Yay! Da, 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 da. Kitty, what are you doing? No, you can't go in there. Perfect. That's a four five. Oh, so Kitty! Don't play with my summer in the city stuff. Pixie! There you are. Kitty, stop eating the hair. I swear. Hey. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, what's up? No, I'm just uh, giving some stuff to my... Uh, uh... Tenders. No, not that. I'm just having them... Having... Uh, hold some 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 things. Yeah. Cause I have way too much shit in my inventory. Mhm. Mm Gilgamesh and Agigu. Got a card. I can't trade cards, which is a shame. There we go. Some cards have been traded. Cloud Strive card, one million. There we go. A little bit of booster package. Oh, you have that one. 
Armored weapon, that's a new one. Iguana guard, I already have that one. Pop goblin guard, I already have that one. Prepare everything. Do I have to silence that chat? Fine. Okay, so where are we going? I'm first gonna sell some items that I have on me that I don't need. Not bad, but I'm gonna throw it away. I'm keeping those. Nope, don't need that. Don't need that. Nope, don't need that. No, thank you. Nope. That should be everything. Yep, my inventory is clean. Oh, Lord, Lordy, Lord. Someone be beep, beep, beeping me. You gonna stream the game or what? Yeah, hold on. Of course, the Discord to thing is not picking it up, so I have to readjust it. There we go. It seems to work! It lives! Okay, so where are we going? Um, first up, trying to continue the story, so I'm going Gunbreaker. I don't want to do that. Just try and tune off the beeps for a moment. Give me a moment. It's... I'll teleport. Alright. Oh, you're on your mount. Isn't it right around the corner or something? No, it's a little bit further. Um, I'll just get on whatever. To the aluminium corner. Hello, Kibatu. Hey, it's a Vista over here. Oh, sorry, my my di my PC was freaking up for a moment, but it's a vista over up here. Huh? Oh, 
Really got high above. Oh, I see you. Yes, I respond to Discord during streams on my phone. Woo. So, uh, look out. So, how's Kibatsu to today? So we're gonna do story time. Get to end Ooh. Walker. Uriangé! Uriangé! Oh. My friends, much and more have I heard of your travels in our absence. Hardened am I to see you all hail and whole. He speaks so weird. As are we to see you safely return for your mission, Urianje? I trust Fancred made you feel welcome. Well, well, if it isn't Elfino and his merry band. Hey! Oh, him. Oh, well, it's our Elfino's merry band. Ah, no work. Need. Arvenvald! Arvenvald, whatever are you doing here? When we spoke via Linkpo, you told me you'd be away on a mission. And who's to say that isn't part of it? But enough about that. It's good to see you look so similar. I thought you've grown a bit taller after a whole year in another world, but apparently not. So a year passed. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint. Disappoint you? While my soul may be a year older, my body, my body has hardly aged, as you are well aware. And may I remind you, we Elysians are known to be late bloomers, especially in terms of our height. Mark my words, the day will come when even the great... Auroch such as yourself will crane your neck to meet my eye. <laughs> beep, beep, beep me this time. Aye, it was not until my 20, uh. 20th summer that I myself outgrew my boyish proportions. The moon Brita towered over me nonetheless. <laughs> Arnvald brings out the best in Alphano, doesn't he? They both seem to so at ease in each other's company. It's almost endearing. Mm hmm So, so, what exactly brings you here? Oh, for Dola, mostly. We need to go over a few things before we set out. For Dola. Oh, boy. Set out? Wait, does this have to do have something to do with the towers? Eh, eh, what gave you that impression? Actually, tell me later. You've got a meeting to go to. I'll see you afterwards, all right? So we get to see more for Dola's story. Okay. Almost forgot about her. I didn't. I did say almost. If Fordol is going with him, I'm gonna see. No, oh, I don't know what that he said after. My that apologies. As Arnvald rightly pointed out, we have a meeting to attend to. Let us be about it. Also, enjoy your little stream avatar doing your things. There's not a lot of people right now, but if more people join, more people can interact. Also, try the slots. Whoa. This better be voice acted. We begin, Good. I would like to offer my gratitude to Masters Thancred and Urianger. There's no small feat to infiltrate the Imperial capital and live to tell the tale, much less in times of civil war. Thanks to them, we may plot our course in full knowledge of how the winds blow in Garlemald. Full glad are we to have been of service. But verily, such dangers as we did encounter pale into insignificance next to those faced by our comrades. An Asian, armed with the might of Bahamut, bent on bringing about the final days. Mm-hmm. Beatrix. He sought only to make a show of the power at the Telephoroi's disposal. Mm -hmm. But since then we have seen no sign of this fun Daniel or his worm. And while we've done what we can to bolster our defenses, 
There's no telling where he might strike next. Whenever and wherever it may be, we must use the intervening time to learn more of our enemy. Twas with this in mind that we dispatched scouts to investigate the towers. And that didn't go well. Also, there's a star in front of my face. Our advance party took longer than expected to return. And when they did, they tried to kill us. Luckily, I'd seen that sort of thing before, and we were able to restrain them before they did any harm. <laughs> then it was just a matter of letting the forks <laughs> do their work. Mm hmm Are you saying they were tempered? Ooh. Once they'd come back to their senses, they told us everything they could. It seems that just as they were getting close to the tower, they heard an ear-splitting roar. And that was the last thing they remembered. Interesting, so... But what worries me most is what they were saying right before they attacked. Glory be to Garlemont. Ah... <sighs> The Tempered have heretofore ever been thralls to primal entities. Yet these hapless souls were compelled to accept a nation as the object of their devotion. This calleth into question all that we know of the condition. Would that the unsettling news ended there. Alas, there is more. Following the earlier reports of missing Amalja, we have learned that other beast tribes have suffered similar losses. Mm -hmm. And we now have reason to believe that the abductions are connected to the appearance of the towers. What the heck? <sighs> Our scouts sighted black garbed figures leading shackled Ixel in the direction of the tower in Dravania. Oh god. Oh. Ah, the Terrible Knights were able to intercept them before they could reach their destination, liberating the Ixel and apprehending their captors, each of whom was found to be equipped with Garlean arms and armor. So Garleans. Mm. So the Empire is the common threat. Mm -hmm. With the support of Xenos, it seems likely that Van Daniel has rallied a faction of the splintered Garlean army to the banner of the Tolopheroi. Mm -hmm. Lord Hien reached the same conclusion when I shared our findings with Goma. The plan had been to march on Garlemald from the east and west in order to force a peace treaty. But the situation has changed. Dealing with the threat of the towers must come first. Given the nature of the mm. enemy and the proven risk of tempering, I could think of few suitable candidates to aid in this task. But I am confident in my choice. Not much choice, do we? Huh? Okay. I'm Vault and hi. Fordola. Oh, hi, Fordola. Resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate the towers without. Fear. That's why they need for dollar because she's a. Ah. She basically yeah. has an echo of her own. We are glad yeah. to put our gifts to use, Commander. Mm -hmm. Gifted or not, going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. She's not very happy to be here, but... Mm -hmm. That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. Mm -hmm. Are you certain about this, Aaron Bolt? <sighs> I am. Come on, let's talk outside. Mm -hmm. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. <sighs> also, this will be hard. <laughs> Try talking to her Dola, she gets pissed. <laughs> now that's out in the open, I don't have to keep it under my preferred head anymore. Oh, into cutscene right away. So you know, I've already gone through all the formalities at the Rising Stones. Made sure to inform Jamulva and Vmar at Ralga's reach as well. Mm hmm Arnvold, I admire your enthusiasm, but this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. <laughs> I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. Mm -hmm. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. It's grumpy as always. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Aldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. Uh, <laughs> she's just being edgy. So the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. <sighs> and now... From out of its twitching carcass crawls the Teloferoi with bloody Xenos at its head! Ooh, she doesn't... Yeah, she has a favor with the Empire. Mm. I fought for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Whatever it is, I need to know. <sighs> Don't blame her. She's lo Nope. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. Also, I'm a little bit see-through because my green sweater is being green. Bonk! Mm -hmm. If you finish with your touching display of camaraderie, I have a question. Which tower are you planning to investigate, exactly? Probably the closest one. Probably. Well, the one in Girabani is said to be tightly guarded. It's patrol after patrol out there, apparently. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near it. Okay, so not that one. Okay, Which is so... why we've set our sights on the one in Pagulthan instead. There shouldn't be anything like as many Imperials to worry about down there. Where the hell is Even that? So, yeah. I doubt the local Amalja will look kindly on it if they catch you sneaking around. Oh, that's over there. Yeah, that's uh Panel Amalja land. territory. We had a chance to learn the lie of the land in our previous forays there. We might still find trouble, but at least we won't lose our way. Banker's gonna say, "Can I come? Maybe I should come along." Just say it. No, he's not. Because he needs us for ammo. We best not keep them waiting any longer. Mayhap, when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxel. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. <laughs> yeah, at least he's... <laughs> <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Take care, Ray. They're adventure brothers! <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, do they dove into a water to, into, the wa into the ocean together, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, not really the ocean, the lake. Mm -hmm. It means a lot, you know. You come in with me. 
I still owe you for saving my skin, don't I? <laughs> Can't return the favour if I'm not there. <laughs> she still owes him. <laughs> I dare say you'll get your chance before long. That Van Daniel sounds like a tricky customer. Too much for the likes of me, anyway. <laughs> He's trying to pepper off. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that, given what's coming. Oh. I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light or Alfino, for that matter. He might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. No, the fact is I'm nothing like them, and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't try. Uh, he's one of those people. Yeah. They're counting on me. <laughs> on us. So let's give it our all. So we ready to grab be put at the end of the scene. <laughs> of course. He does not want for conviction. It's for Dola, what do you expect? So let us have faith in him. Him and Fordola both. Mm-hmm. While they see to the towers, I would attend to another task. Chasing down this lunar Bahamut. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Oh, bloody thing. Can you hear me? <laughs> it's Tataru. Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. Good news. Yay! <laughs> Bad news? He went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, what did he say before? after that? But he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard, so if you're quick. Okay, we have to go to Ishgard. He set out this instant. He may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send a banana to Oh, Estinian! Or should we need to get chased? Mm-hmm. Bonanza. Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stone. Good luck. <sighs> Thanks, Tatru. Oh, on your dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. We have much to tell the others. <laughs> I wish you every success in your search for our elusive friend. May we all meet again ere long. <clears throat> <laughs> dragoon hunt. Also, Madman Crimson, hey -o. It is. It is a weird game. We just start killing ladybugs and sheep, and now you're saving the world again. That's how every JRPG starts. Find the kitty, then the, the, defeat God. <laughs> well, we Kill haven't God, killed any gods yet, technically. Yes, but we're getting there. Ah! Here be dragons. Here be dragoons, is what they are. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, Estinian was bound for Ishgard. Whatever brings him home, we must hope it will bring him there long, long for us to find him. Come, there's no, no, there's no time to lose. Not. Here be the dragons. Oh. Teleport. Okay. To Ishgard! To the foundation! Mm -hmm. Whoop! <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I just love how I always confuse you with my soundboards. Moron! Oh, someone has died there, Dragoon said red here. Ah. And he had to be around the corner, he's off now. And Giratia and Alice. Gratia. Gratia. All present? Good. Let us split up and search for Estinian. Estinian. Yeah. Uh, Alice? Since we're relatively new to this place, Gra Graha and I will look around the open space, the squares and markets and whatnot. You and Kaylin can delve into the nooks and crannies. Very well. Let us reconvene at the airship landing later, with or without Estinian. Good luck. I think I shall begin at the Sky Steel Manufactory. 
So perhaps you could try the congregation? Lucia may as well have heard news of her friend's return. Of course. Uh, Guild returns Norn starting, so you must stop the cult of Sons of Savit to summon Jormund or Warhammer, re reckoning the Chaos Faction... Uh, what? Guild Wars 2? Or Warhammer... Oh, to summon Jormund. Or Warhammer to Warhammer re-reckoning the Chaos Faction starting, so you must murder and kill the Empire City and be warned there are undead in the streets. So, uh, stuff. Um, we have to go to Lucia. to you, Warrior of Light. Lord Emmerich sent word that you would be attending the meeting in El Amigo, so I gather you have not come in search of him. To what then do we owe the pleasure of your visit? <laughs> I see. No, we are... We were not aware Sir Astinian had returned to Ishgard, but as I expect you remember, he is one to come and go as he pleases. May Happy came seeking an audience with Lord, Lord, with Lord Emmerich, only to find him absent. In any event, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Perhaps one of your companions has fared better. To the airship landing. The pillars. Yeah. Yeah. This way out. God damn it! I hate it when it's so dark I can't see shit. Oh yeah, you're night blind. How did you forget that I was night blind? No, I didn't forget. I'm just saying it so that people in the chat know that you're night blind. Uh, astrologum. Oh yeah, astrologum. Would would next ray boss be a pillow? Um, none of the ray bosses are pillows. Ray bosses are kind of big deals. Oh, yeah, I'm going the right way. As is la. We're now in the Heavensward expansion uh, city. Even though we're going to the last ex the day's expansion, yes, we're not in. We ha we're not one hundred percent done with every expansion story yet. We're working on it on our own time. So this is in. Sh this is the post game of, Sh of Shadowbringers. Not that I've ever met him before. <coughs> the way Alphano goes on about him, I'm fairly sure. <laughs> I could pick him up in a mm -hmm. Speaking of which, it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source of general excitement? Mm -hmm. There he is. Hey, man! First the science <laughs> coin keeper, and now you. I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. <laughs> yeah, they are, Asidian. Hey, what's up? Not that I'm complaining. It's been too long. Oh! Ah, that's not Alpha, though! Too long. You look an ilm taller and twice as rugged. It suits you, Alpha, no. Pat! He doesn't know that. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong, silent type? That's his sister. <laughs> if the two of us are family friends, perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? <laughs> have you ever mentioned what an oaf you are? I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. <laughs> she does not like being serious like that. Estinian Wormblood. He the Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the dread worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. <laughs> oh yeah, he's going nerd mode again. Yeah, there it is! Is <laughs> 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 just so confused? What is going on? 
Uh, yeah, you have a fat boy oh, and uh, right. the sister. <laughs> There's Alpha no. <laughs> uh, Estinian, it's been too long. Did you forget he had a sister? They never met. I know, but how did you make that mistake? I know he made that mistake. I don't think Estinian knew. Oops. No, no, it's quite understandable. That was hardly the first time we've been confused for one another. Nor, I suspect, will it be the last. <laughs> well, I, for one, will not be making that mistake again. <laughs> He's just taking it on the chin. <laughs> for the second time today, is that you've grown. Inside and out. I can tell. Mm -hmm. One can't remain a spoiled little lordling forever, you know. <laughs> well, at least... <laughs> At least someone's having a good time. <laughs> you know, when we were growing up, Alphano would never befriend other boys because he couldn't stand the thought of not being in charge. But maybe that's changed. He seems just as happy around Astinian as he does Arenval. Yeah, the, the guy's changed a bit. Mm -hmm. Uh... <sighs> I f I'm I go for the second one. Same. Uh. I mm -hmm. wouldn't be so sure. He still loves nothing better than the sound of his own voice. <laughs> <laughs> no rest for the righteous, eh? Speaking of which, I was just on my way to borrow an airship to take me to Azisla. Why there? As is Sla. How could I forget? Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Tiamat. Yep, Tiamat. I, Tiamat, his mate. Even now she remains imprisoned on As Isla, though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. Get more information about I see. Uh. As the one who first summoned Bahamut. You believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation. <laughs> Makes sense. Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azisla together? I'm not sure if Tatari mentioned this, but we Scions have an airship of our own now. <coughs> no reason why not? Assuming your sister can bear mm -hmm. the thought of sharing a deck with me. <laughs> the city is like, yeah, I'm sorry. Be my guest. <laughs> Alphano again, and I'll throw you overboard. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> <No. Yeah. laughs> I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Alphano painted him to be. Bad, bad first impressions, dude. I Go. will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either. Based on what I had read of the man, I think I was expecting someone a little less blunt. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just their city, Yeah. Yeah, he's blood. He's blood as a fucking rock. He yep. softened up, but he he is blood. He's still a fucking rock, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Elfie. Huh. <coughs> Azizla, the floating city. It's been quite some time since I last set foot in Azizla, but I understand that the three of you were here more recently. And I suppose you had a chance to meet uh, with Tiamat during your visit? Yep. Alas not. We had no cause to set foot with the, here in the Delta Quadrant, but I have studied the record, the relevant, rec relevant records. Relevant records. And which is not to say I wouldn't appreciate a first-hand account of yours dealing with her. Well then, Kaylin is the first to ask. As far as I know, she's the only one of us who, to have met Tiamat face to face. Yeah, and then we got her dad. <laughs> well. Uh, oof. Uh, Even now, she remains a prisoner of the Eleven yeah, let's, Empire. Yeah, let's hope that was there. So Mid Gamma someone was there to introduce me, who is now technically asleep. Yeah. Uh, ever since the end of the war with yeah, I, Maricidia, Sidla, yes. Ah, uh, yes, you have. Ah, uh, yes, you have met with her father. 
And I too have met Tiamat, that's what uh, Estinian said. I'm not yeah. of my flashback, I was let it bleed. Yeah, I too have met with uh, Tiamat. Okay, we're synced up again. Oh, you want to do Estinian? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go, go ahead. After the Dragon Song War came to a close, I came here to speak with her, a worm who had fought her own war against man in another <coughs> age. I wish to know if she yet harbored thoughts of vengeance and asked as much. She said no. Of course not. She let herself be trapped here. Yeah. My hatred for your kind is extinguished long ago. But the guilt she feels for resurrecting Bahamut burns on undimmed. It torments her, even now. Uh -huh. I see. Then your original reason for coming here was out of concern that Tiamat has been forced to summon Bahamut. Nidhogg as a part of me. I feel his emotions as my own. And I know that he would not allow his sister to be made a tool of evil. True. In his absence, it falls to me to watch over her. You feel sorry for Nidhogg in a way. Yeah. Oh, food. Okay, gimme. Okay. So we're going to meet her. Uh, Aziz La, aka the final area of, of Heaven's Ward. It's a floating city. That's all I'm saying. It's a f floating country is what it is. Yeah. Estinian. Tiamat awaits. This way. Okay, no, talk just... <laughs> very blunt. Where is, oh, that is quite a distance away. Mm-hmm. Okay, you take the, the... I'll take the car. There she is. Wait, this is pretty much a floating country. <laughs> because the ancient empire, Alagan Empire, love their floating countries. This is not the only one we've learned. Whee! Whoop! Three, two, one. Well, I kicked my Eden Miner. <laughs> hey, Tiamat. It's been a while. Does she get a voice this time? My sire's mortal companion would bring if thee back to this forsaken place, child of man. Yes, she's speaking in dragon, by the way. Yeah. They actually have a dragon uh, language. It's plain she knows naught of recent events. Perhaps you should enlighten her. Yeah. Yeah. Let's explain to her. This will probably piss her off. Probably. I think this is might, might be the moment we free her from her cage. Uh, that my sins should be repeated. I sensed not the faintest stirring. Mm. As to you, as who could have called him forth, I know of none save the dragons of Mer Merasidia, our children. So she doesn't know. That's basically what she's saying. Uh -huh. The icon claims their souls when first he manifested and robbed of their will. They became tools for the Alagans' dark designs. I've seen it with my oh, own they're tempered. Captives of a lost empire, neither alive nor dead, existing only to preserve the Bahamut's core. That we've seen in Coil of Bahamut. Yeah. <laughs> D went into the, the Coil of Bahamut and, and took the yes, shit. The dragons of Merakiria are at the mercy of this Asian. There can be no other explanation. She's pissed! Accursed Asian! Vile minions of darkness! <laughs> yeah, she is very... would profane the memory of my beloved and strip our children of their freedom, their dignity! Are there no depths to which you will not stoop? Yeah, I think she wants to be free at this point and help us. <coughs> <coughs> mm -hmm. 
Your children's pain means nothing to them. They laugh at your kind suffering. <laughs> Whoa, that's he sounds pissed. Tears will not right this wrong, nor will lamentation see the perpetrators punished. Mm -hmm. What wouldst thou have from me, slayer of dragons? Fitting a great worm. We came here to ask mighty Tiamat of the first brood, consort of Bahamut, mother of the dragons of Maracidia, what she intends to do about the crimes committed against her children. <coughs> Give it a moment. <laughs> yeah, he's just saying like, let that fury out. Were I free, I would answer thine insolence with fire. But words shall have to suffice. <laughs> she says I will burn you, Tvisidian. <laughs> Recall, mortals, that it was I who did first summon my beloved, praying with all my being to bring him forth. <coughs> you who contend with content with icons cannot well, be well pretend to his influence. That you are yet in possession of your own will is testament to the indomitable mm. strength of your soul. Mm. But were you to meet with Bahamut again, you fear you might succumb. Clever! Mm -hmm. yeah. Indeed, as the Dragon Slayer, and we will tell thee the power of we of the first brood wield. Were I to lose myself to the icon's influence, all would pay the price. So that's why she trapped herself here. But it is of little matter. For even had I the strength to resist, I yet lack the strength to break my shackles. This prison shall be my tomb. Well, we can fix both. <laughs> yeah. On we can. The of Bahamut's influence, at least. I believe we can be of some assistance. Yeah. If you're afraid of being enthralled, don't be. We have a cure. And while we've never tried it on one such as you, its basic principles are universal. <coughs> I still didn't know about that. What? Speakest thou in earnest? There is no future for those bound to the past. <laughs> That you committed a terrible sin, I do not dispute. But if you feel remorse, you may yet make amends. We offer you that chance. Take it, or you will forever remain a prisoner. Not of these cruel shackles, but of your own guilt. <laughs> a chance to make amends. To lay Bahamut's memory to rest. <laughs> when our own star faced annihilation, Heidelin granted the sanctuary, and now our foes would bring about her destruction. This I cannot allow, for the debt I owe to Heidelin and to all who have suffered to my, for my sins. I shall fight with you, children of man. Woo! Of course she's gonna help us. Like, this is literally a chance, like, I can make everything right, and I can make the guy pay who, who makes my children suffer. Perfect. Yeah. He smiles. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Oh, Gratia. <laughs> From all the people to speak to, I was not expecting Gratia to speak with. It was either Astinian or Alice or Alfred, but not Gratia. Hagen. Oh, Porks is... Uh, oh, this is yours. Yeah. Well, while Pokes have been shown effective in a current temper, Tiamat must be considered a special case. She's far, far larger and in immeasurable more powerful than any subject we thus far. Were we to remove her restraints only to find that the process has failed, we would be hard-pressed to contain her. 
then before going ahead, we should learn as much as we can about the exact nature of her condition. Do you suppose we can find that information here? Why, yes, we can. We can indeed. These the Alliance kept detailed records of all their of their notable captives, and I know exactly where to look. <coughs> we shall leave you that to you. In the meantime, the rest of us can turn our thoughts to the removal of the shackles. I know Alphano and Kaylin here well enough, but not you. Are you certain you're ready to see this through? Rest assured, Sir Astinian, that I am both ready and willing to, gi to give my all for the sake of this star. Though that is not the only reason I'm for wanting to set Tiamat free. Pause for a moment. Uh, Joshua time! Thanks for the biddles! Hello! <laughs> Mama went. Hi! Okay, that's pretty creepy. Continuing. While I do not claim to know all of her sorrows, I too once found myself in a prisoner prison of despair, and I well understand how hard it can be to dare to dream to, of us to of escape. Yeah, yeah. It took encouragement of braver souls that I can that I to make the first step towards a brighter future, and I would help Tiamat to do the same. I gather you are not as young as you look. Mayhaps when our work here is done, we could trade tales over a pot of Tatru's famous tea? And be it dead <coughs> for the leaves and hot water? I think not. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> Returning swiftly to the task it had, then. I believe the nodes governing Tiamat's restraints are located in the sector known as the flagship. Of course, the flagship. Ah, uh, yes, we are familiar with it. The Aphirothermical Research Facility in particular. Oh, you may wish to take this, a spirit vessel, containing a small amount of my blood. Of course. Yeah, so we can... Now we can get anywhere. Mm -hmm. Which you just happen to be carrying around with you. <laughs> I suppose that that could seem rather odd. To explain, Rambrus, Orion J, and I are researching the use of spirit vessels in the transference not only of memories, but the traits of certain bloodlines. And so I can keep one at the ready should the opportunity to test our theories arise. As for its use to you, you may recall during our previous visit, the nodes here granted access to fu restricted functions. Having identified me as a being of royal blood and armed with that spirit vessel, I posit they will do the same for you, even in absence of, well, the rest of me. It seems a, a worth a try, at least. Agreed. We will take good care of it. To the flagship, then. To the flagship. Anyway, Josh, your time. Enjoy your time staying here. We're gonna get to Endwalker. I hope. And thanks for the biddle again. Because we like our biddles. Bidda, 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 biddle, bidda, bidda, biddle. You getting in? Oh, you're in. It looked like you were still standing in it. Uh, the flagship is that way. <coughs> Going up a bit. Ah, the flagship. It's still not a ship. It, it, what? I'm gonna grab a banana. Oh, banana! I should make that a button. Back. Kitty. Which kitty? No, we've been past it. Oh, there he is. Meow! No, 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 Mm 
She's grabbing a banana, but she brought a kitty here first. Hooty! Uh. So that's a quadrant, that's a quadrant, it's a quadrant. Uh. Banana! Mm -hmm. Let us split up and search for the flagship for the node that controls Tiamat restraints. But should you find a likely candidate, do not be tempted to make any adjustments. It would not uh, do to accidentally release some manner of experimental monstrosity, nor less Tiamat herself in her current state. Our objective at this stage is simply to is simply to identify the relevant node or nodes. Once we have learned what we can, we should we should reconvene and compare nodes prior to proceedings. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead, of course. So we're looking for nodes. I'm gonna go inside. Astidian found a node. Ah! It's up here! Uh. Oh, there's one down there as well. Yeah. yeah, I see one down there as well. There was someone else walking here. The Austrepius Node. <laughs> Data link with Delta Quadrant broken. Possible cause, intruder interference. Advice deployment of automated combat units. Proceed. Nope, 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 nope. Malodorous Node. I got Clamorous Node. Boop, boop. Warning. Scheduled Dragon Restraint Mentis due in minus 2020 years. Failure to verify system integrity may result in unscheduled... Specimen release. Bzz. Friction between metallic components detected. Temperature increasing to critical levels. Please replace damaged parts and retreat to a safe distance. Bzz. So it's gonna blow up? So yeah, it's the green node. The glamorous node. Kind of. Okay, reconvene in the, at the south. Righteous indignation. What? That's the quest name. Hey, you cheating? I'm walking at least. Okay, I'm gonna kill the Sphinx because I feel like I need to fight something. Dead. <laughs> mm. I'm afraid Estinia and I have little to show efforts. Did you find anything? There's a note which feels belt like bird hair. <laughs> yeah, the second one. Yes, a chirping note which spontaneously warned me about neglecting the dragon restraints. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> spontaneously, you say? Well, that does sound probably as almost suspiciously so, in fact. But then you were in position of the spirit vessel. Hmm. I dare, dare say it is indeed the note of which Grahad spoke. It was chirping, you say. Very well, let's take a closer look. <coughs> Sorry, my phone is being shitty. What? What the hell? Hello? What? Okay, what? My, my, game my game audio cut. Oh, it's oh, back. Yeah. What? That sometimes happens. I think it's my PC being a little dip. Blip, do you wish to operate the dragon restraint mechanisms? Mm-hmm. Blip, Blip, you do not have the requisite access privileges. Operation of the dragon restraint mechanism may only be undertaken by the chief technologist and members of the royal family. Spirit vessel? Or those with a spirit vessel full of royal blood, perhaps. There you go. We're not releasing her yet, but we just want to control it. 
New user detected. Commencing biometric authentication. Authentication complete. User identified as member of the royal family. Please state your name. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to give my own name. I'm giving it to Astidia as a joke. <laughs> that Loki gives you when I give a say. Very funny. But if that thing <laughs> speaks my name, I shall see that it never speaks again. Use your own. In case you've forgotten. <laughs> it doesn't the pose he takes on screen. Because <laughs> we're doing something. Look. Username change. Welcome. You may operate the dragon restraints mechanism when ready. <laughs> I also don't get posed like he's like, look at me, really? <laughs> <laughs> Unable to disengage restraints of the specimen Tiamat. A system update is required. Really? <coughs> mm -hmm. Oh, system update? What do you mean, suppose it is asking of us? I could hazard a guess. Uh huh. Well, that's more than I can say. Confounded bloody thing. User yeah, activation I... detective, initiating guidance program. Bloop! In order to operate the restraint mechanism, I require access to the central control system. However, I'm unable to establish a link to said system due to ob obsolescence of my own software. The issue can be resol resolved by applying a system update using the corresponding terminal located within the flagship. So can this thing release the restraints or not? It can, but only once it received the required, the requisite system update, as far as I can tell. Until which time it'll float there spewing nonsense? User dissatisfaction <laughs> detected, initiating placating protocols, bloop! I am here to help, rest assured that I will be on hand to guide you through every step of the system update process. <laughs> <laughs> How gratifying, but but I dare say we should be fair better with guidance than without. <clears throat> beep beep <laughs> Of course he's not used to this shit. Of course not. <coughs> Ooh, that screen. Oh, Poise to lend a hand, figure to. Guiding user to terminal, this way, please. Dun, 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 no, 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 it's on the other side, and a bit higher. So, do you want to walk or do you want to drive? Walk it is. Around here. Ah, oh, there it is. Huh. No, not here. Not above. It's someone. It's on the other side of this thing. Here we go. Here we go. He <laughs> <laughs> Because you're all hyper. Ah! It's on the other other side. Huh? Ah, for fuck's sake. I took the long road. It's on this side, yeah. Look, a lightning sprite, kill it. Dodge. 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 The warring triad. Ah, mm. Hate this. Anyway. Here we go. Let's see. According to the terminal, the central control system is presently employing software version 56153. Dare I say which version you are employing? Why, 
software version 42.002, of course. Bloop, warning, errors detected in the data management system. Estimated time required for update, five years, one day. What? <laughs> that is rather longer than we were hoping. Are there any other options? For instance, using this terminal to operate TMS restraints instead? The proposed method is indeed an option. Please be warned, however, that the procedure may have changed as a result of the system update and my instructions may no longer be accurate. Well, I can't imagine it will have changed all that much. As long as we pray due to the attention to any discrepancies, I dare say we might be able to to muddle our way through. By the way, the version numbers are based on Heaven's Ward and the current version of Shadowbringers. Don't, Don't bother trying to explain. Just tell me if we've made any progress. I would say so, yes. It does, however, require that I remain here to operate the terminal. I shall inform you via link post once I'm ready to release the shackles. I might be best if you l left the spirit vessel with me. I may have yet use of it. Rest assured, I will be certain to return to Gratia once it's once this is over. Alright. Eh. Just a little more work and Tiamat will be free. But before we go any further, there is something I would know. When Tiamat and her kin fought against the Alagan Empire, both sides were but dancing to the tune of the Asians. And it was the same in Ishgard, where they stoked the fires of conflict between man and dragon from the shadows. Mm -hmm. All that the Asians touched turned to ash, and thus have you made it your mission to fight them. But there have been times when you tried to reach out to them instead, to find common ground. Yeah. And so I must ask, what do you intend to do with Fan Daniel? Will you try and reach out to him too? He's insane, but he probably has his reasons. Uh, I will try, yes, and if that fails, I will, I'll remember him. Uh, mm-hmm. I see little point in reasoning with that wretch, or remembering f him for that matter. But perhaps that's the difference between you and me. You see the good in people, even if it be but the faintest glimmer. I only hope you do not come to rue your benevolence. You think I'm some wiser for viewing the world thus? Far from it. That has been had, that has ever been your way, as I learned when we journeyed together with Iceheart. Yet yeah. the fact remains that there are some who view compassion as a weakness to be exploited, and there may come a time when you extend the hand of friendship only to wish that you had dealt the killing blow. So save your mercy for those who deserve it. Mm-hmm. Well, we should be getting back to our task. If Elfano has things in hand here, I suggest we rejoin the others. Okay. Speak with Valise. Okay, I guess you're driving. What? Whoa. That took a moment to spawn in for me. Ba -da -ba -ra -ra. Mm -hmm. Wow, that delay is actually more than 15 seconds today. For vengeance! <coughs> <coughs> it took two expansions for us to free Tiamat from her restraints. Well, there was never really a need for it. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad I didn't leave that plot point hanging. They clearly had a plan with it. Uh -huh. Right below us. <laughs> Landing. Ah! Fell a little bit. Alize. Hey. Ah. Uh. Estinian told me all as well, but nothing more. Honestly, it's like getting blood out of a stone with him. I take it from Elvino's absence that he's needed elsewhere. 
Mm -hmm. F is more music in the background. Well, that all sounds rather frustrating, but you got there in the end. While you were off taking talking to notes, Graha and I were learning as much as we could about Tiamat's condition. Our readings confirmed that her inferior balance strongly towards the umbral, as is the case with the cobalt. Therefore, all other things being equal, the treatment should work. The difficulty lies in the sheer quantity of Eva of which we must contend. Multiple applications of the treatment will inv inevitably be required if we are to reverse the effects of the tempering completely. Meaning I'll need all the Aether I can get. Thank you in advance. <laughs> Although this endeavor will ask much of us, we do have one reason to be optimistic. Namely that Tiamat shows no signs of fanatical devotion, suggesting a milder case of tempering than that suffering by the kobolds. Hmm. Tiamat saw that Bahamut is, saw Bahamut as an equal rather than a god. Might that have made a difference? Now that you mention it, it very well might. She would not have believed it necessary to defer, defer to his will. But enough talk. It's time to put our theories to the proof. Tell Alphino to disengage the <coughs> strange imperial dampeners. Mm -hmm. I'm counting on you, Angelo. Boxy! Mm -hmm. uh. Ah, such warmth. The frost that shrouded my soul doth begin to fall. But what are these? Visions of days long forgotten? Of war with the men and of Alag? My photo those built from memories return to me now. Ah. Could it be that the process of restoring a soul, soul to a pre-tempered state is awakening, awakening ancient memories? Or might the opposite be true? If so, by helping her recall the past, we may be able to speed her recovery. Chernum, she trusts you. Speak to her. Ask her to tell, tell you of the times past. Okay, we gotta get some uh, more lore during the time. No. Yeah. Uh, Bo bottom one. I think that's the one. Uh, either one could do it, but uh, okay, let's do the bottom one. Yeah. Wicked, bloodthirsty creatures, not content with their own lands. They brought fire and death to Mercidia, our home. The tale began when Bahamut and I left our father's side. We took wing in search of a place to make our airy. Uh -huh. Beyond the sovereign ocean, we discovered a lush and fertile land. It would come to be known as Merecidia by the children of men, though many years were to pass before they crossed the seas. Mm -hmm. Ah! Upon our arrival, we were welcomed by the peaceful people of the forest, kin to the trees. Surrounded by nature's bounty, Bahamut and I had found a place to raise our young. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. This correlates with the writings of the Charlian scholar of Russia. See, Paul, is that the man, f the man first settled on the southern continent towards the end of the second astral era. Correctly, it would appear if she were, if she were with us to hear the tale from Tia. Tiamat herself. Again, Angelo! The reason we didn't ask about Bahamut and the Asians is because she didn't know back then. <laughs> when first the children of men arrived on our shores, no foot that they set in those places over which we held dominion. Such was their fear of dragonkind. And as they kept their distance, so did we let them be. Mm -hmm. Yet as the days went on, ship after ship appeared upon the horizon, bearing even more of their brethren, who divided the vast land amongst themselves. For a time they knew peace and prosperity, but as their numbers grew, the smaller their share came to seem, and soon they began to covet the territory of their fellows. Ere long, men fought men, blood was answered with blood, and none could see an end to the strife, until one day, they came to us. Recognizing our wisdom, they entreated us to intercede in their conflicts. Bahamut agreed, and with him presiding over the affairs of men, 
The land knew peace once more. Oh, dear. And that's why they killed Bahamut, because he was uh, keeping peace with the world. Alas, those golden days of harmony, too, were fated to end. For the men of Alak slew my beloved, and I, in my rage and sorrow, heeded the envenomed words of the Asians. The rest thou knowest only too well. That's the other story we didn't pick. Yeah. But your tale doesn't have to end there. When you are free, we'll rid the world of the Asians together, and you and your beloved will have justice. Fine sentiments, but you're almost spent. I'll keep watch from above, and if the treatment fails, run. AK saying, if she's still evil, I'll kill her. Ugh, thanks for the vote of confidence. I swear, when this is over... Uh -huh. Keep going, Alice. The magic is working. So let's... <sighs> Click Alice again. <sighs> well, I knew this wasn't going to be easy. No patient could have prepared me for feeding a great worm. <clears throat> but we're close. I can feel it. And while I've only got a few more drops of aid for left to give, with yours and Gra Graha's, this will work. Then I believe I speak for the both of us when I say you make you may take as much as you require. Careful, I might hold you to that. All right, here I go. There goes Angelo. And we're giving her ether. Should be enough. Shiny! Da -da 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 yes, I feel it. The icon's grip grow with weak. Did it work? We won't know for certain until the shackles are removed. Mm hmm. I should have been Dragoon mm. for this, but whatever. Yeah. Answer me this, children of man. Can my kindred be saved in this manner? Yes. Many have been subjected to the Alagans' dark arts. Their flesh irrevocably altered. For such tortured souls, I fear there can be no salvation. Yeah, we can't cure the physical changes. My children. Oof. Please let there be some of her kids alive. Should you hearken unto my call, we shall fly together once more. But should you not, I shall grant you peace. Oh. Yes, yeah. So she's basically like, we will save what we can, but if if not, I'm gonna kill you. Better to die than live as a tool of evil. You too would wish this, I know, and I shall do as I must. Mm -hmm. When that time comes, you won't be alone. We'll stand by you. Mm -hmm. I wonder what Ras is going to think of this. Uh -huh. 
Thou hast my gratitude, little one. Mm-hmm. Alphano's ready. It's time. Here we go. And let's hope the treatment worked as it should. Ooh, there was there's some she's also stabbing her tails. Oh yeah, I saw. Huh. We never we never took a good look at it. Look a bit like Nid Nid Hog. No shit. Yeah. Estenia, hold on. Uh -huh. My beloved. Uh. For vengeance and atonement, I rise. Mm -hmm. Damn, she looks badass. Mm-hmm. Let's see what Rosalga. Wow, Valgar look at her! Mm -hmm. She looks fucking epic! Orionje, your timing could not be better. Understood, we're on our way. Of course, he show- Uh-oh. He's been sighted over Pagelthan. Oh, no! Oh, no! The timing. Mm-hmm. Well, it's already time, I guess. Did you hear all that, Alpha? No. You'd best rejoin your comrades. I'll make my own way. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna ask you about to come. Yep, I knew it. He's gonna ride yep. her. <laughs> He's like, it's my turn to ride the big dragon. Come on. <laughs> hey. He's like, you uh, you ride the father, I ride the daughter. <laughs> right here. Well, I'm sure you're desperate to join Estinian and Tiamat in battle. It would be wise to gather the full strength of science first. The foe we face demands no less. Uh, curry. Smoked chicken. I'm just picking the food at random at this point. <laughs> More materia, uh, God. Uh, the flames of war. Fun times. Ah, uh, cutscene. He reaches up higher because it's actually up there in his ear. Yeah. Again, looking at details. I've already sent words to the others. We rendez rendezvous at Ulda at the Hall of Flames. Let's collect Alphano and be on our way. Yeah, the mid god or some mid god summer's uh, theme. I think that's just a dragon theme in general. Yeah. <laughs> Did it was a really necessary game. Some of these. Bum bum. Bow bow. Are we teleporting over there already? Because that's a I'm long loading screen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're just loading over to Old Da. Which is nice. Saves a lot of time. Get muddy. Yep. yep. I'm still loading. Don't move yet. Something's worrying the cat. Also, I'm taking a bite of food. No. No, I said no. Let me eat! Thank you. Pancret! Mm. 
now, I know some of you could do with a rest, but I'm very sorry to say that the Tefa Royal have other plans. Palagif is already under siege. Flagophon. Uh, Happily, the Immortal Flames arrived just in time to join the defensive effort, with Marshal Torapin at their head. Well, now, I, given their failure of the peace negotiations, I was uncertain how, how the Sultan would respond. It is good to hear that Ilda has not abandoned the Amalja. Abandoned them? Did we not profess to be their friends? Oh, you want... I think... If the Sultan, uh... Yeah. It's the Sultana. Not yeah. a mo. Huh? <laughs> Your Grace! Marshal Torapin has made, has made provisions for such an exigency and was ready to depart at a moment's notice. All that was required was the agreement of the syndicate, each of whom voted in favor of intervention. Of course, it's bad for business. And it will bad for business. Nor is Ulda alone in its resolve. The other alliance nations have likewise dispatched their troops to Pagafon. Pagafon, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yet even with our combined strength, we shall be sorely tested. For we face not only the might of an Imperial Legion, but Lunar Bahamut and a Strigotic Horde besides. Tiamat's children. Fight as we may, victory is by no means assured. But not all of the omens are grim. Our forces report that despite their proximity to Lunar Bahamut, none of the Omaja show any signs of tempering. Strange, what Primal would turn out a chance to claim new thralls? Unless it is incapable of doing so, primals are not one to serve a master, Asian or otherwise. It may w well be that L Lunar Bahamut differs in some fundamental manner that from those we have previously encountered. Mm -hmm. If that were true, anyone could fight him, and Kaelin and others like her wouldn't have to shoulder the burn alone. Be that as it may, Lunar Bahamut remains an incalculably powerful foe whom our soldiers will struggle to best through mere force of arms. With the aid of the Scions, however, I believe that they will fare rather better, assuming that is, you are ready to take the field. An airship awaits to bear you to the front. Pray set forth as soon as you are able. Mm -hmm. I think this is a dungeon. Yeah. And if not a dungeon, it's probably an instance or a raid. It's the last dungeon, I believe, for the, this uh, post game. Fun times. I, meanwhile, shall continue to coordinate our forces. Till next we meet, may the Twelve bless and keep you. Walk, walk. Follow then. Yeah. It was kind of her to speak with us personally. You may be certain she has no shortage of other responsibilities. Well, I, for one, am inclined to do as her grace requests. Lest we forget, our involvement for Dola are in Pagafund on Reconson. Reconnaissance. Reconnaissance. The sooner we save the day, the better the chances. Indeed! To the airship, then! Remember, I'm not a professional voice actor. Sometimes I, uh, jump on the voices. Especially if they're very similar in some way, with the accent. That's fine. Oh, someone's, uh, Christmassy. Yeah. Did somebody say Christmassy? Shut up. Um, there's a snowman. Okay, are we going the right way? Um, I don't think we are. Are we? No, we have to go to the steps of Nal, so we have to go through the center. Oh, we can just teleport to it. We could probably just teleport. It's probably quicker. Really, dude? <laughs> uh, airship landing. That's where I have to go. You said Christmassy. <laughs> Shut up. Fine, I'll change back. Greetings, we've been expecting you. But to say, but say the word, we shall depart for Pagafin at once. Pagafin. 
Oh my god. Okay. He yeah, was... Everyone's available. No. Yeah. This what the... Oh, we are already done with DPS. We only need a healer. It's a little bit lower <laughs> because there's less pl people playing during Christmas Eve. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. Uh, oh. Ah! Never mind. music yeah that's epic oh god your mods are uh... Uh, they're, jo they're joining us oh. <gasps> there she is oh. <laughs> he's just sitting there stoic <coughs> This theme, though. Let's go. Only the dancer is not new. Uh. Temperate Imperials. Never thought I would see that that day. That the day, the day of that. I'm just going to the next encounter because this is how we do things. Spin to win. And let you live. No mercy for you. I got the big guy. Bad. Kill the. Oh. And jump back. That's only the lesser dragon. Down he goes. Valley of. Valley of no one. Help is here! Oh, the kobolds! We can, we can move on a little bit. So I'm going to move a bit ahead. I just wanted to thin out the numbers a bit. Because there's a dragon there and I don't know how annoying those are. This is a dead end so we have to clear it. Bum bum, bum 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 bum, bum bum, bonk. Get cut into pieces. Spend to win. Dragon down. I said dragon down. Bert! Yeah, here it comes. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh! 
Yeah, that's one of those things we saw at uh, Coral Bahamas. Oh, right. That's a curl. Mm -hmm. Not critical with me. Didn't, fe didn't feel a thing. Come on. If you hit me, it's trying to hit me, hit me. Oh. That's what it is. It tries to pull you in. You now have to move away from there. No. Everyone shields up. Okay, ow. Yeah. Pretty much, it pull first pulls you towards it, and then when you unpulled, you have to get out. This orb is a big orb, so, so yeah, it's very much uh, one of those things. Stay away from the big orb. See? Yeah. So you have to go to the electric rod and move away. Ah. Well, I took that to, to the chin because I couldn't. Oh, oh, wait. I'm fine. You can't dodge that. Some bleed, burst. I put the vision on myself because I fucked up. Oh, I have to take it. Because there's not enough lightning rods. <clears throat> that's a weird angle. Oh, okay. That's still a weird angle because I didn't have to move. I don't. It's almost dead. There we go. Dead. That's that's one of the cooler chests. Ah, greed, huh? greed. Zoma, Zoma Arch to Citadel, huh? What took you so long? What took you so long? The amount are in trouble. Are you standing in? <laughs> I tear my little stadium. And he yeah. drops away. I just fly to the. <laughs> and there goes Tiamat. I'm gonna go to the next one because some people need me. Oh great! We're and now in, in a, this is we made the end of Stormblood. Spin! 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 Going to hit him a bit harder. Free a jerk. Was that supposed to hurt? Didn't feel a thing. Ah. I saw Emmerich. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Stinian. Oh, just keep him there. Right back, Siavat. <laughs> Yeah. 
Bonk. Uh. I shall free thee from thy pain. Oh, Tiamat's helping us in this fight. <laughs> Get the treasure chest, by the way. Up there. Behind me. I thought I aggroed you. Bye, Tiamat. Bye. Uh. Um. Sorry, I thought this was this was Final Fantasy XIV online, not Contra. Oh God! Huh? Oh God! Yeah. I... This is just, this is a horde f boss fight. Someone was got hit. Middle again. Once we clear the way, strike at the the heart. Oh. Get our shield, just in case. Defensive reaction. Okay. Yeah. So basically, defeat the hordes. This is getting a bit ridiculous to dodge. Oh, out of no, here. Missiles too! Ah! More enemies! Son of a bitch! They never, they never cease. I just ate missiles. Middle! Middle! Oh god! Center! Over here. Bam, bam. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Whoop. That's a dead end. Oh. That's the tower. We got. Oh, I know what we're doing next. Oh no. Oh, goody, goody, goody. You know what's next after this. I have a feeling. I don't want to say it because I don't want to jinx myself. <coughs> Ah, a dragon showed up. Why not?
Fuck your magic attack missiles. Ow. I felt that. Stab. Dead. Yeah. I knew it. Yep. Woo! I knew it. We're gonna fly in the back of a dragon. <laughs> that is what I predicted. We're like we're either gonna be on the back of the Tiamat or on the back of the dragon to get to the next section. So now we see this whole field of the, the fight. Well, we have the bigger dragon. We win. <laughs> I'm gonna attract more enemies. Oh, there's Lunar Bahamut. Careful. I can't see myself. I can't see myself either. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just dodging everything I can. I'm... I may not be able to see myself, but I know where I'm standing because of how the game works. I wish I could see myself. <laughs> Okay, now nah, it's more manageable. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. uh. Teleferium, Lunar Bahamut. He's gonna. Oh! oh! And smack him down. Um. Mm -hmm. Nice cutscene, though. And she's uh, she's gonna be injuredly bad too. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Bum bum bum. Let's glitch again. Fix to find out what that what causes that glitch. Oh, oh god, oh god! Oh, Woo oh I took that one. Stay put, stay put! Unborn is always yeah. multiples. I forgot, okay. Mm -hmm. Stay away from me. Ow. Oh. Stay away from there. Oh, 
Oh no, now what? Just keep moving away. Ow. I hate that one. Luna Flare! Uh. They're shrinking. Ooh, we made just in time. That's interesting. Jesus Christ. Giga Flare! Oh, God. Shields up. I gave everyone shield, so... <coughs> I just tanked it better. But... <laughs> Fuckers! Just scream. For everyone again. Oh, it's dropping out of the sky. Careful. It took a lot of damage there. I'm gonna flare again. Um, you can uh, limit break him. Not attacking you. And he's dead. <coughs> Bye. Poof. Just serious look. Because we're pissed. Giving it to the healer. Read. Read. Okay. Mm hmm. Three, two, one. Two, one, go. Play accommodation. I'm not surprised. I guess we're back in the city because I saw nope. a zone chat. No, after this cutscene. Uh. Mm -hmm. She's not dead, she's just injured. Thank God. Children of men, the shade of my beloved is no more, and I. I shall be forever in your debt. By your deeds are we set free, and free we shall remain as long as I draw breath. Never again shall the dragon of, er of Merasidia hearken to the lies of the Asians. This I vow. Mm -hmm. Well, she didn't die. She just took a lot of damage, but she's fine. Oh, thank God. She's probably gonna see her as vulgar. Chose their friends well. Huh? That's I think that's no Molja. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. What's up? Long have our peoples waged war, but no more. Mm-hmm. Your fallen lie beside our own. By our words and deeds shall we honor their sacrifice. 
Uh, well, we're at least making peace with the beast tribes. Yeah. But now they figure out. Yeah. We should we call. Be proud to... We would be proud to call you our allies. Same. The enemy of our enemy is our friend. And you have proven yourselves worthy of mm -hmm. our trust. It is the Guardians who are deserving of our fury. Yep. Yep. I shall see that my brethren learn the truth of this day and rally as many as possible to the cause till we meet again. Mm-hmm. And thus did we make allies of the Amalja. Yay! Woohoo! It would certainly seem that way. The Sultana will be pleased. Let's go and give her the good news, shall we? <sighs> mm-hmm. Would love for you guys now. Um, we'll check in a moment when we're not in cutscene mode, but it, we're on our secondary classes. Ah! No! <sighs> oh no! Oh no! Fordola's dead, isn't she? What the fuck? They're just inside the walls. Oh, their ether's being drained. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, squishy. What you happened here? Mhm. Mm the gods only know. But you can bet these poor sods aren't here by choice. Mhm. Mm Quickly, we've got to get them free. Yeah. Uh -oh. No. What have I done? <laughs> it's too late for them. Ugh. We're leaving now. Mm -hmm. Oof. What the hell? Aaron Fall, come on! Oh, what? that's an Ifrit. That's what they're doing. They're trying to summon. Lunar e freight. They're making uh, Son of a bitch. primals to control. Okay, so before we go on, my class levels are my warriors level 60, my dark knights 84, my gunbreakers 82, my astrologian is 80, my machinist is 66, my rep mage is 70, and my samurai is 66. It's called astrologian. Whatever. Uh... Classes and jobs. The wrong button. 64 Paladin, 78 Scholar, 89 Dragoon, uh, 38 Ninja, 81 Reaper, 72 Dancer, 78 Ugh. Summoner, 15 Blue Mage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know. Uh -huh. Well, it would be too much to hope for. We've seen the last of Fan. That we have seen the last of Fan Daniel. We have we have dealt with schemes for a, tr a telling blow this day. That alone is a cause to celebrate. And celebrate I will when we receive the words from Arnvald's Aaron, safe return. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, okay. Trust. Thank you. When the dust settles. <coughs> that. <sighs> Standing around here worrying is not going to help matters. Come. We must discuss the, the day's event with Pippin and her grace. Brave, Brave Scions! Sons. Oh, it is... That, uh, that was uh, the Sultana. <laughs> what did I could treat you to a hero's welcome, but I bear urgent news from the uh, fratisserie. <laughs> Your grace! What is the matter? Whatever is the matter. As our troops withdrew from... Pe Pagalfan, they came upon the two scouts sent to the nearby tower. I have yet to hear a full account, but it seems that one of them, your friend, I believe, had been wounded and was being dragged away by the other. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. I, I must go. Forgive me, your grace. Can you tell us out of Ironveld's condition, Your Grace? The wounded scout. I'm not safe that it is grave. The Kyrugians tend to him even as we speak. So he's not fatal. He's just down for the count. The infirmary must be in inundated with the wounded. If all of us go, we'll only get underfoot. Uh, Kaelin, Estinian, would you mind going after Alphano? He may need some support from someone other than me. Not. Eyes narrow. <laughs> and nod. Very well. Thank you. The rest of us will see that the relevant people know what took place in Pagalfan. 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 What the uh -huh. hell? How do you pronounce that even? Jesus. Some of these names. Mm -hmm. Come on, then. Whatever. Freckle sticks is the end exit. Mm -hmm. This way? Alright. Oh, yeah, it's lift. Yeah. Uh, Ruby Road Exchange. Uh. <coughs> Doesn't matter. We Ulda is one of the more confusing places for us. But I think I picked the right one. No, it wasn't the hustling strip. Of course it was. Man, of, man, of, man. Uh, well, just to find a teleport stone right around the corner. And teleport to it. Yeah, we get it. You teleport. Oh, come oh, ah, I thought it was going to be at the temple. Well, whatever. Oh, Alchemist Guild is. Oh, out of way. Yeah, out of way. Kyurgen. Kyurgen. Hey, Fordola. <laughs> still, as, still as edgy as always. Another one to come and see the lad in silver armor. Master Delamit is attending to him as you speak. If you would be so kind to wait. What did Master Delmin say? Tell me his exact words. Enough, Alphano. This isn't helping. Yeah, scold him. But uh, you're right. Forgive me. We said our farewells to Aaronveld, and I was afraid that something like this might happen. But now that it has, all we can do is wait. Boys acting. Dola. Have you been waiting here all this time? Mm -hmm. 
We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. Oh no. Oh boy. I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He took a blow from e feet of all things. That's not something you just shake off. Yeah. At least lore-wise. Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. Another just, even, she's gonna say. I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... I don't know. Perhaps I could have... Oh. Smack... Yep. Yeah. Ah! Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. Oh. People die all the time. For no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. Mm hmm If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. Mm -hmm. It may be that victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. Yeah. All life is precious. <laughs> oh, what it is to grow up, little man, before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. I have seen it. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. <laughs> like him, they dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. The battlefield's littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you'll not be next. And what'll become of your precious dreams then? Mm. They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Yeah. Dreams worth fighting for don't die so easily. Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for Dole, uh, she's got a lot to learn. Right click over now immediately because we the instant gets a cutscene. Mm -hmm. Alfie. I know, I know. There's nothing more I can do here. Come, let us rejoin the others. <clears throat> her grace invites the science of the Seven Dawn to join her in the Fragrant Chamber. Your karmas have already arrived. Will you, f will the three of you be joining them? Three? We will. We will. Of course, the stadium's around the corner. Yeah. Of course he is. Hi. Hey. Are you coming? Nod. Nod. We nod in understanding. <laughs> even though we even though the city is not one for politics. Your grace, pray forgive us our lateness. Mm -hmm. Think not of that. 
I understand a close comrade of yours was wounded in the line of duty. Arunbold. <laughs> it was at the Alliance's behest that he risked all, and we are grieved to hear of his condition. Rest assured, he will receive the finest care our chirurgeons can provide. On that, you have my word. Now, we will share with you the findings of the mission. Pippin, pray relate to our guests the details of Bordola's account. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we know that the towers drain ether to summon uh, primals. But why summon primals? What's the point? I was like, where's the city? And he's over at the quarter. First Bahamut, now Ifrit. Or Luna Ifrit, as Fan Daniel would doubtless have it. <laughs> I like how everyone's on the same line of that. All but certain that the towers were conceived to facilitate the summoning of primals by those imprisoned within. Ah, oh, lovely. Less certain is the means by which the Telophoroi constrain the wills of said entities to enact their designs in defiance of the pleas of their victims. Mm -hmm. Mayhap they do not. If mere proximity to the towers is enough to make loyal servants of the Empire's mortal enemies, it stands to reason that the same is true for those held captive. Mm. They invoke their gods for the good of Garlemald, and in their disturbed state of mind, summon a primal whose form reflects their own alteration. Ugh. It all begins to make sense. Upon closer inspection, I realize that the towers bear a striking resemblance to a much larger structure which Uriange and I observed from afar during our visit to the Imperial capital. <sighs> Assuming it too is capable of tempering those in its immediate vicinity, it would go some way to explain the swiftness with which the Telophoroi managed to rally so many Imperials to their cause. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. While the situation in Garlemald is indeed troubling, I fear we have more immediate concerns. Ifrit was not the only primal summoned. At approximately the same time, observers at several other towers bore witness to the emergence of further such entities. It's because we killed Bahamut. No, they were already working on those. Mm -hmm. For a blessing. None appear to wield aught approaching the destructive power of Bahamut, and the Grand Companies are moving to deal with the threat even as we speak. Ah. Yeah, because they're weaker primals. You need only tell me where they are, Your Grace. The Grand Companies, Your Grace, is that wise? Though we are aware that the task will not be easy, mm -hmm. We would call upon the Scions only as a last resort. Pray. Okay. Same text for me. After all, it was not so very long ago that you rid us of Bahamut. On which note, I am pleased to report that our talks with the Amalja have reached an agreeable conclusion. They have pledged their full support to our cause. Mm -hmm. It is our hope that this historic agreement will encourage other tribes to join us at the negotiating table. And I know that I speak for all of the Allied leaders when I say that mm. we will welcome them with open arms at such time as they do. Also, hey Chris, Merry, Chris, Merry Crimbo. Of course, this was only made possible by the feats of heroism performed at Pagelfarn. Pagelfarn. Mm -hmm. Moreover, That's what I was saying. we shall not allow the sacrifices of those fallen in battle to have been made in vain. As hope leads to victory, shall victory lead to a new dawn for Eorzea? <laughs> May these words ever be our guide, Your Grace. <laughs> now, if you will forgive me, I must consult with the Syndicate on the matter of our new allies' integration. Till next we meet, my friends. I bid you safe travels and blessed respite. Mm -hmm. It is the Krimbo spirit. And there they go.
At least nobody died this time in this chamber. Thank God. It was getting old. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I like to put more breaks in between. Mm -hmm. dun, dun. We're getting close to Endwalker. Unless anyone has any objections, I think it's about time we return to the Rising Stones. And that includes you, Elfino. Aronvald is in good hands here. Mm -hmm. Of course, he would doubtless mock me for pacing about in the infirmary. Let us retire then. We might regain our strength in the readiness for the upcoming challenges. If we're all in agreement then, I shall let Kral know that to expect us. A hot bath and a hearty meal sh shouldn't be beyond arranging with the time available. It would be good to, to be home. I have some thinking to do. Yes, I'll try asking him, and thank you. I shall look forward to it. Trying to get a city to join, mm -hmm. I guess. Our comrades are eagerly await our return, and Kral in particular has a few matters she's keen to discuss. One of his concerns you, Astinian. Believe it or not, you will join us, won't you? Fine. <laughs> so as grouchy as ever. Really? I thought you said you were avoiding that Baldassian woman. <laughs> He's got, yeah, you're, you're not part of us, you get snarked. If I refused, she would only pursue me. <laughs> Let's get this over with, shall we? Uh... Okay, uh... When the dust settles... Uh, we have only three more quests after this. Oh, God. Okay, so, so, what's the last quest? Death until dawn. Okay, so once we get to that quest, then we should, um... Go back to main classes, I guess. Yep. At that point, we... That we're in a walker. Woohoo! Mm-hmm. Hungry, to be honest. It's it's ten thirty almost, and that's why I only ate some bread. You also ate yeah. a cookie. I would also would like a cookie right now. I can get some cookies. One second. Yeah. Let's put something in our gullet. Remember to remember to stay hydrated and fed. Also, I came some of my uh, thing. Yep. Ah, it's gloom. Yeah. Zoom out. I can't see where I'm going. It's gloom right now. Okay, huh? let's go. See if it's a uh, voice first before we actually start digging in. There's Kryle. It's not. No, oh, it is. Back. It is. I expect you must all be exhausted. Yay. Ere you take your rest, however, I would beg a moment of your time. Thanks to Arnvold's selfless efforts, we may now be confident that we understand the function of the towers. But many questions remain regarding the reason for the summonings and what lurks behind the looming edifice in Garlemald. 
Until such questions are answered, we will struggle to devise an effective strategy for thwarting the Telophroi's stated aim. Nothing less than the destruction mm. of this star. Mm -hmm. And so, given the gravity of the situation, I move that we petition the aid of Charlian. Ah, we're finally gonna... It is possible the ancient knowledge preserved within their archives may hide a clue to our enemy's methods. But given Charlian's established policy of non-intervention, our former colleagues are not like to aid us in its discovery. Mm -hmm. I want to yeah. remember what they're like. The Forum's barefaced refusal to assist you in the days prior to the Calamity must rank as Charlian's most shameful act since the Exodus. Mm -hmm. But were the final days to be reenacted, it would spell doom for us all. Surely even they cannot turn a blind eye to that. Mm -hmm. I trust we are all of the same mind on this matter. Urgent as it seemed, I took the liberty of petitioning the Alliance for leave to act as Eorzea's emissary. And have since received their blessing. Smart trial. I presume your role as a student of Baldessian will carry some weight with the forum? Mm -hmm. One can but hope. If truth be told, our organization has been a shadow of its former self ever since the disappearance of the Isle of Val. But the name does still retain some degree of prestige. I only pray it will be enough. If there are no objections, I shall depart for Charlian at once. But before I do, I should also mention the other matter to which I would devote some time during my stay. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing. A topic I have discussed at some length <laughs> with Yishtola. I'm not surprised. We were wondering... When was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long while. Huh? I think near the end of the Dragon Song War? Yeah, that's to us directly. Yeah. The day in the discussion is just when we heard her, but... When you regained her blessing, was it not? But never since. Not in all your time in the first. When you faced the unsundered. The very heart of Zodiac. Mm -hmm. History shows us that <coughs> is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. Mm -hmm. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. No. Mm. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in his judgment. Wow. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Heidelin has not made her will known to anyone. Because During my time in the first, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reem. But that was not the will of Heidelin. It was Minfilia herself. Yeah. Indeed. And while she and Heidelin were inextricably linked, <laughs> Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder, could Heidelin's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Uriange's <coughs> opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Hmm. Then again, who huh. am I to say? The fact is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlie and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. Makes sense. <laughs> Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. Mm -hmm. Estinian, 
We stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we Scions may play a telling part, yet we are but few ah. in number. Mm -hmm. She's going to so ask him to take her place. Will you join us? But he's a healer. <laughs> he's like, I... <laughs> you would never turn your back on those in need. <laughs> never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the light to my doubts in so doing. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, mm -hmm. in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. <coughs> Win, no less. Mm -hmm. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden <coughs> of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. You we get it? It hurts. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah. you. As you have shown me, some dreams are too important to let go. Mm -hmm. If you have need of my strength, <coughs> it's yours. <laughs> After all you've done, how could I refuse? <laughs> yeah, we saved him. Yay! He's like, I owe you a lot, so might as well. At the same time, we owe him a lot without knowing. Whatever yeah. challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> God, Tia is, is, is late. He's fanboying. He's just so excited. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. You will be sorely missed. Tread warily in Charlian, and do try not to let the Forum embroil you in their politics. A forlorn hope, I know, given the individuals involved. Mm -hmm. I shall do my very best. Farewell. Because Elf Nun and Ali's dad is there. Is he still alive? Yes. He, okay. He's in Charlian. That has been confirmed. He is in Charlian. He's alive. Okay. But he doesn't share the sentiment of his grandfather and his children. So, he's remained locked in Charlian. That's going to be fun times. So that's going to be a storyline for Endwalker. Probably. No! God damn it! It did the meanwhile. Meanwhile. I well, I don't think alone. That's a lot of weapons. Looking for the best one, of course. Who do you think you are, Gilgamesh? <coughs> hey, it's my magic tech sword. It's another katana. Yeah. He likes katanas, but well, he's looking for something else. Does this one meet with your approval? <laughs> Fat Daniels is getting him all kinds of swords. Boink. Nope. I don't think he cares about the dragons, dude. You are Pretty sure he doesn't. So costly a failure. Mm -hmm. Oh! <laughs> mm -hmm. It will not affect our plans, I trust. Uh-huh. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Meridian <laughs> dragons are rather slimmer. It's a lot of Dark Knight sword swords in the back. But the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. <laughs> Speak. 
No, this robe is purple, is not uh, black. Yeah. You will be ready to control you know what? <laughs> the hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. Mm. <laughs> Oh, they're talking about the tower in the center, I guess. Yeah. Now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. Mm -hmm. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. <laughs> Those are all weapons you can make. Brings me back to our earlier topic. <laughs> My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. Not a single siphon there, though. Mm. There is one. I have been meaning to test. <laughs> well, well <coughs> not quite what I was expecting, though I will say it does seem rather apt. Yeah, there's a scythe there. We just haven't seen it yet because it's been hidden away. Yeah. Yeah, we don't get to see yeah, the scythe, but it's a scythe. Yeah, they're teasing it for yeah. Endwalker. Yeah. Tatsuru! Well, it looks like I'm going to have a, few, a busy few moons. Not that they ever seem to be anything but. Penguins got me dispatching troops to every corner of the realm. Which is not to say I don't trust the Alliance, because I do. But when it comes to putting down primals, nobody does better than us. Well, then you lot, more accurately. You won't catch me treading blows with a primal in the near future. But for every fell fiend you vanquish, there's countless meals to arrange, baths to fill, sheets to wash, stores to replenish, and the list goes on. Which is where I come in, and gladly, mind you, it's the least I can do to support the scions who risk life and limb, like poor Armwald. <sighs> I wish there was something we could do for him, but we'll just have to settle for saying the odd prayer and keeping a roof over our heads. It wouldn't do to have him come back to a complete sh to a, to a complete shambles, now would it? Mm -hmm. But that's enough of my rambling. Off you go and get some rest. If there are any developments, I promise you'll be the first to know. Dude. Not for naught. No. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> the company okay. we keep. The company we keep. Yeah. And then it's unofficial business and then death unto dawn. And after that, Endwalker. Ah, Kellen, you're looking well. I take it you managed to squeeze in some rest. If you came hoping for tidings of from Cryo, I'm afraid we're still waiting. But we do have some odd scraps of news to share. Scraps, she says! <laughs> Lunar primals have been po popping up all over the place, but the Alliance has the situation well in hand, thanks in no small part to Hor Hori Boulder and the others. Meanwhile, talks with the Beast Tribes are going even better than expected. Encouraged by Uldah's progress with the Omalja, Gridania has opened negotiation with the Ixel, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. All of which is obviously very encouraging. <coughs> the Telethroi still out there. It's not as if we can afford to lower our, gower, our guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> 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 Begging your pardon, but I shall but I come bearing an invitation from the Alliance. A council meeting is due to be held in Alamigo, and your attendance is humbly requested. Ah, we were just talking about the Alliance. May I ask what's on the agenda? I believe the intention is to share news of the recent developments and discuss what measures will be taken to combat the Telephoroi. In concert with our new allies, the Beast Tribes have also been invited. It is hoped that they will join us in the fight against our common foe. So the Alliance would bring all the beast types into the fold for at a single stroke. An ambitious plan, given the delicacy of the negotiations. But may happen an expedient one, considering the threat we face. Mm -hmm. Indeed, my lady. And for their part, I am told that the beast tribe have agreed to attend. If the signs two are present, all of Eosha will be represented. Mm -hmm. To arrange such a meeting must be quite an undertaking, not only diplomatically, but practically. 
Pray inform the Alliance that we will be honored to participate. We shall make for Alamigo without delay. Then I will bear your answer, Tiffer, with all haste. We look forward to receiving you at the Royal Palace. I have to pee in a moment, so once it's cutting down, I will need to take a quick pee break. Hi. Well then, well, now that we have accepted the invitation, who exactly is going to attend? I move that you and your Stola lead the, co the contingent. Given how long you have worked to, to end summoning, it is only right that you have that you have to be present for what promises to be an historical moment. I think we all played our parts in a little endeavor, don't you? Mm-hmm. Nod. <coughs> all persons may rightly claim a seat, I do quite agree, but by your leave, I believe I shall remain here and lend what assistance I can to the coordination of our defensive efforts. Mm -hmm. I'm not coming either. Hamburg will be there, and I'd rather not be interrogated. <laughs> <laughs> Very well, then. While those with a mind to hold the, to hold the fort got on with holding it, I should just the rest of us make for El Amigo, shall we? <laughs> na na na... Uh, of course, Estadian's not gonna come with us. Yeah, he's not the political Hi! type. He's not the political type. Alright, where the hell? Oh, you're over there. Estadian! What does he say? Don't worry, I have no plans to return in ro to roaming in your absence. I know you'd only chase me if I did. Be right back, <laughs> go to the bathroom. Huh? Say so what? Okay, I'm back. I... No, you're back. I'm gonna take the bathroom. Okay. Uh, pee breaks. Taken, people. When you need to pee, pee. The bladder will thank you. And there goes the glitch again. It's causing it. Alright, and that's what I need to do. Uh, da, 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 da.
Ai, ai, ai. O que é o que? Ah. Ui. Ok. Out of here. A moment. I'm trying to find the extract material button. There it is. Because... I'm not fully bound to him yet. Anything here? Nope, none of my weapons. No. Huh? Material extraction. We haven't done that in a while, but some some stuff some of our stuff can be extracted, so I'm doing that right now. You can just go to your character sheet and just press the extract mysteria option. That's what, what do you think I'm doing? It's... Some aren't ready yet. Um, let's see, item comparison, because I got two of some new items. Probably uh, nothing is probably as good as what we have right now. Nope. I was gonna take it with me anyway, just in case, but yeah. Okay, uh, aluminium quarter. Okay, it's my turn to teleport. Okay. Uh, Garabania. Let me in quarter. Time to travel. Whoop! I'm gonna check my. Oh! That's gonna be shown in the stream if I do that, so. Fine. Pum 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 pum. Oh, there's everyone. Hi. Yeah. Checking what they're saying. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Huh? Something went. Something just came here and went. Linksy? No. Moody? Yep. Okay. And now she's on the webcam for a moment because she wants scratches. <laughs> and now I can't see chat, so I'm sorry, chat. I cannot read your messages. We've been expecting you. Also, must have, have yet to arrive. The alliance views are present. Shall I show you in? Oh, no, sure. we don't have to say yes. Hey, that's the modulator and the cobalt leader. Yeah. Oh, of course they're here. Yen is also here. I also saw the Naga. Yeah. She's worried. Oh. Huh? The uh, the. Oh, hey. The other one's remaining. The fairy, the, the fairy would definitely join us. Those are esteemed yeah. guests. You honor us with your presence. As there is much to discuss, <coughs> let us begin. Information on our taken brethren you have, yes? Hear it, we would. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they will. They're not gonna be happy that they're ever being used to summon again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We too would see your kin liberated, but ere we attempt their rescue, we must first find a means to negate the risk of tempering. Without that, we will be unable even to approach the towers, let alone contend with their defenders. Mm -hmm. If all else fails, I've always found cannonballs quite effective. <laughs> of course you did, but Mur <gasps> Uh -huh. Think for a moment. Ponder, consider, think. If Merlwib truly intended to bombard the towers, she would have done so by now. Remember, we came here to find a solution together, did we not? 
That's a, thank you, Sadar. <coughs> Yiskola spoke of defense. <coughs> I but offered a means to clear a path, should you require it. Mm -hmm. Given the enemy's capabilities, we will all need to play our part uh, if we are to have yeah. any chance of success. Or if any here should give less than their best, it will be to the cost of every living being on this star. Mm -hmm. A paragon, the Empire, our very gods. How can we hope to prevail against such odds? <coughs> that our foe mm -hmm. is formidable, mm -hmm. none would deny. Mm -hmm. But our strengths are many and varied. In this chamber, I see masters of strategy. Uh. Masters of magic, masters of the land, the air, and the sea. And together, there is nothing in creation we cannot overcome. All the dragons, but they can't fit right now. <laughs> yeah. They know we can do it, for sure. Mm -hmm. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Tana! What is it, Soul Walker? Do you not express your passion in us? A little scripty without gills, perhaps? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Suffice it to say, I am proud to be counted amongst their Aussie's finest. We, Sir Hagen, will play our part. Mm-hmm. I'm not surprised. The Kobolds have not forgotten the crimes the Overdwellers committed against us in the past. But today we look to the future as allies united in purpose. Ah! Make mock of the Ixel the Paragon does! Yeah, Dara Piss too. As Patriarch Zadar will attest, the Scions have granted us a means to free your brethren from their thraldom. This mm. boon we will gladly share, that your people might never be enslaved again. Yep. We accept, mm. we accept. Praise me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> mm -hmm. It's taken a while. This took forever to get I here. I believe we might be one step closer to a world without primals. Would that Minfilio were here to see it? <coughs> mm -hmm. We still have a long way mm. to go, and Aww. we're going to need a lot more porksons. But we're moving in the right direction. Definitely. If mm -hmm. I may have your attention, there is one other point I would like to raise. As we can all agree, freeing those held captive must take precedence over every other concern. But experience mm -hmm. has taught us that none save those with the capacity to resist tempering can hope to enter the towers unscathed. And even once inside, a still greater threat may yet await them. That which we call a primal. Mm -hmm. Needless to say, if we are to succeed, engaging with such foes can only ever be considered a last resort. And so I move that we seek to prevent them from being summoned in the first place. Okay. Yes! Both prayer and ether are needed for the ritual. Should either one be denied, the summoning would fail. Indeed. Mm. And so we must endeavor to discover the source of the ether on which the process depends. Do so, and it may present a way to halt the summonings, or perhaps even neutralize the towers entirely. Smart. A promising proposal. While you are conducting your investigations, however, we will need to mm. remain vigilant. Lest the Telophoroi commit further abductions and summon primals ere we have the means to prevent them. Mm -hmm. 
To stand a better chance of keeping our enemy at bay, we would do well to coordinate our defensive efforts, sending reinforcements to assist our neighbors when needed. We, Amalta, would have been overwhelmed were it not for our newfound allies. But say the word, and we shall come. Mm -hmm. I see we are all in accord. But what are we to call this proud fellowship of ours? I suggest <coughs> that the honor of naming it should go to the scion whose brave efforts have done so much. Oh, of course, we're gonna name it. Walbros! <laughs> <laughs> Is that option there? I'll do it because that's just a funny. That's just funny. Um. Uh. One moment, please. One moment, please. I'm gonna ask for a moment. <laughs> Might I suggest? I'm just gonna call the Grand, Grand Company, Company of, Eorzea. of Eorzea. I remember a certain someone pondering it once upon a time, and it seems as fitting a name as any. Yeah, if if you say thinking, then I say will get <laughs> will propose it. Will propose that name, and then look at that Alpha No, no we're set we're back in the same time. Don't worry. <laughs> In that we shall ever be united. <laughs> united in our gratitude for the realm that gave us life. Stuff. Then let it be recorded that on this day the Grand Company of Eorzea was born. Giddy. <laughs> Aww. The old... Aww. How long have we dreamed of this moment? And now that it's here, I... Oh, forgive me. Okay. Might we speak outside? <clears throat> I'm glad you wanted this wood. Sorry, she wanted some cuddles. I kept I pet her. She put her... Head against my chest for a bit, get petting her, and then she wanted to go back. <laughs> okay. I can actually chat at least. Ready? Oh. Uh. <coughs> yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, now that we are out of earshot of the other delegates, I hope you'll forgive me if I speak my mind. What did he say before that? Because I accidentally clicked away. Let me, be let me begin by saying that I have dreamed of this day since the moment I first set foot upon these shores. And that I was as heartened by as anyone to see the peoples of Eorzea pledge their solidarity. Yet even as they uttered their declarations, all I could think about was the conflict to come of the sacrifices... ...that would be made and the lives lost. Inevitabilities I still struggle to accept. Click. But at least now there's hope. The formation of the Grand Company of Eorzea is, is the first step, the first of many. Many and more. Who? Hi! Ah, you you guessed correctly. Elder uh, Seeds here. Uh, oh. Elder, Elder Seeds here. How might we be of service? I seek Master Alphanot's assistant in a matter involving Gradania's neighbors, the Sylphs. They were the yeah, Sylphs. No, that's, yeah, Sylphs. I was like, those are not fairies. I know that you and yours have long kept a wetter eye on the, upon the crystal, crystal trade, the better to predict the coming of primals, and so you will be familiar with the sylphs of the Ashgram Consortium. Through their dealings, they have cultivated relations not only with the city-states, but many other commun communities besides. Mm -hmm. Communities such as the Beast Tribes. Just so, it is our hope that we may make use of the Sylph's established lines of communication to coordinate the efforts of our new fellowship. Yet there remain uh, certain practical differences between a trade consortium and a grand company. If the Sylphs are to perform their test effectively, they will require the council of one first in the operational aspect of an armed force. Mm -hmm. An armed force founded with the Sylph's same goal in mind, no less.
The Crystal Braves, yes. Forgive me, Master Elfino. I know that it was a painful chapter in your life, but the experience may yet be made to serve the realm. In my hubris, I plotted a course for the Crystal Brave which stretched far beyond the Order's initial concept. One intended to pave the way for the founding of what I indeed call the Grand Company of Eorzea. No unless all came to naught. Built upon a broken foundation of lofty ideals, the Order was doomed from the, from the first to collapse under the weight of more worldly interests, and I have no wish to see this new endeavor suffer the same fate. Mayhap I ask too much of you. Not at all. You may count upon my assistance for for what little it is worth. By your leave, I shall prepare a report, including a list of recommendations drawing on the list I learned from the fellows of the Crystal Braves. Lessons. Huh? You have my gratitude, Master Elfno, and my trust. When your report is ready, pray share it directly with the Sylphs. With your guidance and the earnest efforts of every goodly soul gathered here this day, I have no doubt that our but that our friendship shall emerge from the shadow of the Telephoroi and flourish. Until next we meet, my friends. Mm -hmm. Before committing anything to writing, there are a few number of people whose thoughts I would like to hear. Former Braves, you understand? Might you join me in seeking them out? I can't think of an, of an excuse to say no, say, of an excuse not to, so yes. As if you have to ask. <laughs> well, I shall be grateful for your, for your help, grudging or not. Thank you. As someone who witnessed the Order's rise and fall, yours will be, will be reassuring presence. I'll join you if you're planning to canvas the opinions of your former comrades. It will be a lot quicker if we share the task of questioning them. Mm-hmm. Then mayhap Garaha can lend a hand as well. I shall accompany Fenkrid back to the Rising Stones. Between us, I dare say we should be able to provide an accurate enough account of the day's events. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> they keep putting Graha next to us. Yeah. You should be glad of your company, Graha. I shall explain the details on the way. And now Kitty's sleeping in front of my on my desk. I'm gonna pet her a bit. Uh, so, what's the plan, brother mine? Before discuss, oh. Before discussing the task at hand, I should probably admit that report I propose in lar is largely written. Not long after the fateful day in Ulda, I penned a detailed account of the organization's history, from the events that led to its inception to the fines that brought it around its demise. This I did primarily as a means of taking some semblance of responsibility. Never did I mention that it might later be referred to those referred. seeking seeking form of, of a similar organization. And while I made every attempt to be objective, the account was mine alone. In its event viewed from a singular perspective. For it to be of use, however, I must broaden, broaden and to encompass the viewpoints of all involved. Only then can I and, and it answer what it seems to be the crucial question, namely, why app? Why, after the Crystal Grace disbanded, did some of the members choose to remain with us, while others did not? I see. You think the answer will tell us something about the nature of the ties that bind our new grand company together? <sighs> and that this knowledge might help us to prevent it from fa uh, falling apart when those bonds are inevitably tested. Mm -hmm. That is my hope, yes. But the questions I would ask are uncomfortable s to some. As the former commander of the Crystal Braves, I doubt that those who abandoned the cause would welcome my inquiries. Then Graha and I will just have to try. Meanwhile, the two of you can talk to the ones who kept the faith. A fun suggestion. Have care. However, certain former comments are of questionable character. So keep your wits about and let us reconvene in Gradania later on. If you have no objections, I have a mind to begin talking with Rio and Alane. Alian. Alian. If memory serves me, those two will be attending an intelligence briefing at Custom Orients. Let us seek him out there. Oh, Custom Orients. Yeah. That's, uh, not, that is on the other side of <laughs> Gerbania. <laughs> You're teleporting us, okay. What's up, kitty? What? 
I know why she's sleeping there. I, the cats are feeling very unrest uh, lately. Hmm. As in, they're willing to get closer to me. Ariel. Ariel. I click. Hey, same timing. Hey! <laughs> we stop that. Well, look who it is. And what brings you to here? Wouldn't have anything to do with the big meeting, would it? In manner of speaking, I have been assigned a task, you see, for which I require the assistance of four members of the Crystal Braves. And thus they explained. There you go. So you want to know why we've decided to stick with the science, eh? Hmm. Ain't an easy thing to put into words, that. Jesus. As real will attest, I spent a long time agonizing over my failure to alert you to the traitors in our midst. For my negligence, I was captured along with many others, and we were powerless to prevent the tragedies that ensued. Not a day goes by that I do not think back to those fateful events. By joining the Scions, I hope to redeem myself, and I will continue to serve the cause for as long as I am able. So, redemption. But that wasn't my only reason. When we were finally <coughs> reunited at the Rising Stones, mm. you refused to blame anyone but yourself for the fall of the Crystal Braves. And in spite of everything that had happened, everything you had suffered, you took us back without a moment's hesitation. We would not have blamed you had you turned us away, but when you gave us your trust instead, what else could we do but to repay, try to repay it? Mm -hmm. Nothing that's, that's what. As for Mionto, well, I've always felt that the science have something in common with me all crew. The duty of the strong is to protect the weak. That was our creed, and I still strive to live it by it to this day. So he was a pirate. But as times go on, I learned that the strength comes in many shapes and sizes, from Hori Border to Mistress Tataru, and we've all of us got something to offer. And not one of us doing it p for personal gain, because we believe there's more important than that. Things worth protecting, which is, is what being a science all about. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. Thank you, my friends. To hear this from you means more than anything you know. Means more than you know. Forgive me. Uh, could you? <laughs> Why do you think the crystal base end ended in failure? Okay. Well, it's finding ideals worth something to be proud of, but ideals alone don't make a crew. For every swap who signed up with good intentions, there's another who is only in it for the coin, the glory, or both. Ours was quite a dispar disparate band, and while I was never, I, I will never forgive Ilbert, the fact that we managed to function at all was thanks to, in large part due to his efforts. Just a pity he's been doing it all for the wrong reasons, eh? Only, only takes one uh, bad apple, they say, and the Braves had a barrel, full, barrel of them. Not like the Scions. We might look like a ragtag band of misfits, but deep down we've all got a sense of shared purpose. And why? Because Tatru sh sifted out all the glory. Hunters. Glory hunters. Before, before, they made it, before they made it through the door. I see. So while our, our ranks compromise a diverse range of people, each with their own individual strengths, we are all united in purpose. Thank you, my friends. With your permission, I shall make a record of our discussion and refer to when drafting my recommendations. Until we meet again. And something beep beep beep. Let's see if it's important. <laughs> nope, wasn't important. It was just another notification from another server. Unofficial business. Yeah. That's the semi that's that's the penultimate quest. Okay, so this one in the the current one, and then... After this last one. Yeah. <coughs> well, I think I've taken up enough of our colleagues' time, and I'm unconscious that less affirming testimonies await. Let's make our way to Gridania and hear what the others have learned. Mm -hmm. Almost there. My turn. 
Glug, 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 glug. Wait. Yeah. That was such a silly thing to do when it was hilarious. <laughs> Hoodie keeps looking at me, he's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh, someone has a nice spear. I'll wait for you to watch, look at it before we teleport over. Hey, what? Oh. Huh? Is that the lands? The stories of the lands are good, but look at this person in their lands. Damn. That's. Gilbog Novus. That's a level 50 uh, spear. Oh, Gilbog, I'm uh, Gilbog. I still have to make that thing. God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of the relic weapons, but you can make them glow, so they just made it. Mm -hmm. Okay, to Lancer's Guild. What's up? Oh, he's just licking herself. From, is Lynxie with you? Mm, don't think so. Then I guess she's in the back, uh, behind me, because she's not in her spot, and Hoodie's in front of me. Tatru's ever dependable intel intelligence, we managed to track down a handful of former braves without any great difficulty. Some were forthrights, others less so, but we heard enough to form a picture. I must warn you, Elfano, some of their combos were harsh. I can well imagine, but their opinions are no less vital to my reports. I seek the unvarnished truth. Thank you. Now, was it about aiding your fi adding my, your Eddie. findings to my own at once? And in the meantime, break on ahead to Little Solace and seek out Elder Frixio. I will join you anon. Okay. To Little Solace we go. Uh, my turn, I guess? No, my turn uh, still. Is it? Okay. You went twice in a row. Okay. And we're there. What are you doing, kitty? There. Now you're snug. She looks way more relaxed there. Get in the car. Bye. Mm -mm. Bye now. Frixio! Been a while since we heard this music. Yeah. Time to with Sylphs. <coughs> oh, welcome, Brave One and friends of Brave One. How good it is to see Walking Ones again so soon after the meeting. Huh? So this one <laughs> before the customary dance of greeting. I d I'm doing that one. I've already spawned it with the middle one. Alright. No, no, be at ease. It is true that these ones are deli delighted in making Walking Ones dance, but no more. Hordman Kanisana said that Walking Ones would be coming to Little Solace. Imperial Ones also invaded Surflands and abducted many of these ones. So these ones will be glad to bear messages between fighting friendly ones. <laughs> that is heartening to hear, Elder. It will require all ones to work in unison to stop the uh, Telephoroi. These ones will try very hard, of course, but in matters of war, these ones have little experience. Any advice walking ones can provide will be most welcome. Oh, another pretty silver-haired one. And in quite a hurry, it seems. Mm -hmm. Alice, you must come quickly. Whatever's the matter, Alphano? Don't tell me. You couldn't read my handwriting. <clears throat> what? No! A twin other officer has accosted me and is as I was about to set out. Solians has sent an envoy who is due to arrive in Gridani at any moment. What? An en An oh. envoy an envoy? Could it be Kryo managed to sway the forum? We shall sh know soon enough. But there's more. The envoy has requested that the two of us attend the audience with the elder seer. Well, the seat's here. Really? Uh, 
Clearly. I can see why they might want Scions to be present, but us specifically? Wait. It isn't who I think it is? Uh-oh. It's their dad. I could... It is. I could scarce believe it myself. But when I inquired his envoy's identity, I was told it was one Fortune... Fortune old Livio. Livio. Yeah, see, it's their dad. <gasps> Daddy's home. Your father? Well, now, the fact that, that, that a serving member of the forum had journeyed to here would be a surprise enough, but him? Quite. I glean from this that they are talking the, the matter seriously. They're taking the matter seriously. That may be, but why him and not one of the other 98 forum members? Unless he volunteered for it. It's been some time since you last saw your father, was it not? Could it be that he's concerned for your well-being? Perhaps, but he's always been reluctant to discuss his work with us. Indeed. And whenever we write to our parents, it is inviolable our mother who, who, who replies, so the mother's also alive. Nevertheless, okay. I welcome the opportunity to meet with him after so long, even if it's secondary to his true purpose here. Elder Frixio, love that I'm cut our visit short, we must return to Gridania. Pray accept my apologies along with my reports. <laughs> Never mind, there will be time to talk later. This one won't keep a walking once for more urgent matters. Go! Yeah, so both parents were alive. But yeah. Okay. The audience will be held at the Lotus Stand. Where the elder seats here await even now. Let us be on our way. Yeah, we're almost at the last quest because the last quest is at the Lotus Stand. So yeah. Very much the quest probably is about to end there. We can just... Actually... What? Get in. Okay, if you want to fly there. But yeah, we're pretty much at the end of the storyline. So, we're gonna get a cutscene there. It's gonna end there, and then afterwards we're gonna... Should we switch classes then already? No, not until, not until we did de Death Until Dawn. That's the last one for Shadowbringers, and then we can switch. So, do we switch at that quest or do we quest after? The quest after, because then we're at an Endwalker. We don't we have to take the boat here? Here. Okay, ferry skipper. It's free. Yeah. Kitty. I'm rustig your oogje dicht doen zo. And it's right next to an A for right shard. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Okay, now she's uh relaxed. Fundra's uh, guild. Fundra's guild. Oh, that little petting stopped her completely. She's now so relaxed she fell asleep. She was even wagging her tail when I petted her eyes closed and her, and her <laughs> tail stopped, stopped wagging as well. And she's out. She's actually out. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Boop. Mm-hmm. My friends, I thank you all for coming so swiftly. Word of Master Fauchinol's visit took us quite by surprise. When the Alliance granted Mistress Crow permission to request Charlene's aid, we did not anticipate to so prompt a reply, much less that it would be delivered by a member of the Forum. What the nature of that reply may be, we shall soon discover. Mm -hmm. Let me fall into cutscene mode. It's probably voiced. Oh yeah, this is voiced. There he comes. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Elder Seeds here. I thank you for granting me this audience. Yeah, that that's definitely their dad. Yeah. Here in my capacity as representative of the forum. 
Uh-huh. It's got it a braid as well. Thank you, Master Fortuno, for journeying so far and so swiftly. Would that our first meeting could have been under happier circumstances. It has been too long, Father. You look well. Mm -hmm. As do you both. Amelians will be glad to hear that you are taking care of yourselves. Oh. That's her mother. Amelians. Oh, mother. She misses you terribly, of course, but is otherwise a picture of health. Mm -hmm. Circumstances apart, I'm grateful that our meeting has afforded me the chance to be reunited with my children at long last. And I believe I also owe you thanks for the hospitality you showed my father, Louis, <coughs> during his sojourn mm -hmm. in Eorzea. Mm -hmm. yeah. All thanks we owe to him. In the days prior to the seventh umbral calamity, it was your father's tireless efforts which granted us a means to vanquish the primals. Were it not mm -hmm. for him, our strength would have been quite spent by the time the Empire arrived. That Gridania still stands is in large part his achievement. He was a great man. He would doubtless have been moved to hear you say so. I must confess, however, that I opposed his decision to intervene. Yeah, we already knew that. Yeah. And my position remains unchanged. Thanks, asshole. Ugh. I saw that coming. To chart the course of history, not to change it. I am familiar with the Charlian stance. It is more than that. It is our way of life. Who we are. <sighs> I came here not to deliver a lecture, but the forum's answer to your request. Charlian will under no circumstances intervene in the conflict between Eorzea and the Garlian Empire. <sighs> Fucking hell. Is that coming? There has to be something more to the message. So they might not act, but... ask for what reason the Forum has come to this decision? The final days spell the end not only for Eorzea, but the entire world. Mm -hmm. The final days... Pray spare me your hyperbole. This conflict is no more than the latest in a series of petty squabbles between yourselves and Garlemald. One in which Charlian will take no part. If the final days were truly upon us, we would know. Oh, sure they're, they're... you would, asshole. Yeah. Father, you must ask the Forum to reconsider. You may feel safe on your little island across the waves. But if you imagine the Telophoroi will leave you be, you are mistaken. They mean to kill us all, themselves included. Mm hmm. Alphano is right. We have seen what the enemy is capable of, the lengths to which they'll go. This is no time to turn a blind eye. This is if this is a... falls, so too will Charlie. So if you truly love our homeland, you will join us now. Before it's too late. Okay. He clearly wants to, but he's also stuck to form. Better than to raise your voice to your elders. No, he doesn't. I was wrong. Huh? wrong to ever let you leave, Charlian. I consoled myself that your time abroad would instill in you some hint of restraint, of discipline. But I see now that Eorzea has made fools of you both. Have you forgotten why it was that I so vehemently opposed your grandfather's departure? For all his wisdom, his only solution was to go to war. Death, devastation, ruin. Even those who claim victory are scarred for life. What prize could ever justify... They're pacifists. Sacrifice? They want to say pacifists, that's why. It is the duty of the learned to avert such tragedy. By fanning the flames of war, you forsake all you once held dear. 
Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going with the middle one. That, that is something really profound that I would piss him off. Yeah, that pissed him off. I see your yep. friend shares your misguided feelings. <coughs> but unlike him, you should know better. <laughs> By espousing such barbaric notions, you subvert the teachings of Charlian and place mm. all we have worked for in jeopardy. Mm. Alfino, Alize, as of this moment, you shall no longer oh! have a this sorry did you just come here to disown your children How he you did choose to live your lives is no longer my concern if you wish to walk the path of ruin i will not stand in your way dude seriously master fulchino while charlian may have no intention of intervening in this conflict we can still part as friends will you not stay and speak with us that we might learn of Charlian's hopes for the morrow. True. I have said what I came here to say. Any further discussion would be meaningless. And Katie's back an up. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Father, wait! Don't bother, Alize. <sighs> How can you stand there and watch him walk away? <laughs> How can you let this happen? doesn't mm. want to, but what's the point? Man. We paid the push. Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. Right click. Yeah. No more voice acting, I guess. So that's what he came here to say? That we're all fools for having the temerity to defend ourselves against the Tep Lefroy? And as for the rest. Like it or not, this was the forum's decision. To watch them from afar while Eorzea burns. Father was but the messenger, and as he handed down their judgment, I couldn't think of nothing to say that would possibly sway him. I still I still can't. To have prolonged the discussion would have changed little, for it is not only Master Fortuno who would have who must be persuaded, but the forum as a whole. Their decision was made ere your father across the sea. Mm -hmm. Nor is it like to be changed, and so we shall face the Telephoroi without their aid. Forgive me, but if they have no intention of helping us, then why would they go on the trouble sending an envoy in the first place? Why did they not simply employ their counsels and their as they counsel. as they are wont to, to do? Uh oh. Kaylin, has Mother Fortuno arrived yet? He's already left. And then it is as I feared. My efforts were in vain. I pleaded our case to as many four members as I could, but they flatly refused to discuss the matter. No, that's not exactly true. I should rather say that they ignored every word I said on the subject without exception. It was almost unnerving. Could it be that they are hiding something from us? That that might go some way to explain Master Fortuno's performance. performance. When he said they would know if the final days were truly upon us, I dismissed it as pride. But what if they generally believe that they know how the world will end and simply disagree with, with us about the circumstances? That I don't know. But something tells me that they are not as unconcerned about the Telephoroi as they claim. Oh. If the threat weren't real, why else would they be so standoffish and secretive? I would very much like to delve deeper into this, but I'm afraid I've exhausted every avenue of inquiry. Nor have I fared any better with my mis other mission, researching Hydaelyn and the Ethereal Sea. I tried enlisting the help of experts in the field, but it appears the form has forbidden anyone from cooperating with us. Oh. Obstructed at every turn. So it would seem, but don't lose heart just yet. With all the knowledge and acquaintances we have between us, we can still find a way forward. 
To that end, I would like you all to join me here, when the time is right, of course. I'm aware that matters in Eorgia stand on a knife edge, but with your permission, I can at least start making the necessary arrangements. Please, Please do. do. Yeah, this is serious. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Obviously, keeping to the Lefroy at bay must take precedence, but with luck, you'll be able to make the journey to Charlie and Erlong. long. It may take a while to secure entry for you all, but I'll let you know when everything is in order. Look after yourselves in the meantime, won't you? Mm -hmm. Your speculations give me cause to hope. Yet if these seeds will bear fruit, I cannot say. While it is possible that Charlians, that the Charlians hide some, sec some secret from us, there can be no certainty that its exposure will prompt them a change of heart. And so, for the present, we must needs confront the plight in which we find ourselves. The form has refused our request for aid, and it falls to us alone to contend with the Telephoroi. Even with all of Ayorsha's standing unite, there's no guarantee that we will prevail. What does Sharia intend to do if we fail? <sighs> I'll take a lemon muffin. I'll take a shit and finish any. Yeah. Here it is, the final quest of Shadowbringers! Oh boy! Oh boy. Death so until dawn. Shh. Okay, click. Oh, I'm going to cutscene mode. I hate okay. this poos. While Charlian's stance is indeed disappointing, we cannot allow ourselves to be distracted from the challenge before us. There is much and more to be done. I shall begin by sharing the forum's response with, all, with my counterparts in the Alliance. Meanwhile, I would ask that the Scions... Grave Tidings, Walking Ones! Grave, Grave Tidings! Yeah. Calm yourself, my gentle friend. What has occurred? These ones who went to see Feathered Ones were sent terrible news. Destroying ones have appeared in... self at all. Oh. Destroying ones have... in captured ones are even frightened. For godly ones, feathered ones didn't stand a chance and when were sent flapping and squawking. So... When did this happen? Is it too late to help them? Too late, yes, much too late. But luckily, destroying ones were only passing through and continued on west. Feathered ones who did not fight were, were left unharmed. West? That would be Corphus. My lady, the Ash Guardians report that the Telephoroi has emerged from the eastern highlands of Corphus and are, mar and are marching at speed. For their purpose has yet to be determined, the Cardinal Flats would seem their most likely destination. Lord America already dispatched his forces and requested our immediate support. Tell him he shall have it. The time has come for the Grand Company of Eorzea to prove its worth. Mm-hmm. Well, mayhaps it is a mercy that we do not have time to stew upon our misfortunes. Come, my friends, let us make haste to Cardinal. Wait, wait, this one almost forgot. Destroying ones were set to be led by cackling Rogue One. This one must see that all walking ones know. Farewell. So, that's, uh... And Daniel. And Daniel. And Daniel? Who else? It was only a matter of time before that grinning maniac showed himself again. I shall have an airship ready to bury you to Cartano. Pray see to your preparations and report to the landing with all haste. At once, my lady. Let us away. Is this going to be an instance? Probably. If so, that means we have to leave party. Let's first head over there. So once we finish this this uh yeah this mention is one of us going to have to log out to get the video for Endwalker? If you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you did it for Shadowbringer, so. Then I have to log out because I'm the streamer. Okay. Uh, we can just. You can also both log out and log back in. Let's do that. 
Airship landing. Because otherwise I'll be what I'll be watching a delayed stream. So. Yeah, unless it's even if stream via Discord. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have to be. Uh, we're not supposed to be here. Are we not? Oh, it's outside. Yeah. Also, my gun blades of the Patriots are here. But I'll do that in uh, a matter of time. Uh, stairs are over here. Yeah. Hey, Fredola. Oh, boy. Come on, this will only take a moment, all right? <laughs> she still doesn't want a small talk. Jernum, it would seem Fredola here has come all the way to Kadarin to find us. I've explained the situation, but she insists her business is urgent. Aye, and it'll be over sooner if you shut up and come with me. Okay. What's up, Fredola? It's not wintry anymore. My immersion! Oh. Of course, he's getting treatment here. Makes sense. Arnvold. I can't tell you how good it is to see you. Oh, he's in a wheelchair. Yeah. He's recovering still. Mm -hmm. It arrived a lot sooner than expected, eh? The day I craned my neck up at you. Mm -hmm. Only because you're sitting down. Unless... Afraid so. The Chirurgeons say I may never walk again. Yeah. Oof. Broken legs. Ooh. Come on, Alfie. Oh, that hurts. could be worse. Besides, I didn't come here to dampen the mood. Quite the opposite. Mm hmm. All I've ever wanted was to fight for a cause I believe in. But my fighting days are over. So I want you to fight in my stead. Be the hero I can't. Mm-hmm. I am no hero. That's what they all say, though. No one ever calls themselves a hero. Even the ones who eat primals for breakfast. It's for others to decide. Look, Alfino. You already are a hero. To me and countless others. We see you doing your damnedest to protect us all. And you're not alone, are you? There are people who believe in you. Just as you believe in them. Huh? Yeah. Well, shall we give your regards to Leferoy? <laughs> yeah. This is this is moment for Snark. I know what's at stake, and how many people are depending on you. But I believe in you. Believe that you'll see it through. That's why I'm entrusting my dreams to you. Like Albert and Owley once entrusted their dreams to me. Hmm. There was a time when I would have borne the weight of such expectations without a second thought. <laughs> but now, I know just how heavy that burden can be. To tell the truth, I'm beginning to wonder if I've chose the right path. Sacrifices will inevitably be made for the sake of the ideals I uphold. Maybe I am not the person I thought I was. The person you think I am. Mm. <coughs> I wouldn't presume to tell you. But I will say this. 
In spite of everything, you've come this far. Neat. The road ahead might not always be clear, but you've never been one to give up or take the easy way out. And everything you do, you do for others. For a brighter future. I'm proud to call you my friend. Mm -hmm. Well, I've said my piece, so I'll let you go. I know you've got more important things to be doing. Just give what I've said some thought, all right? I shall, my friend. And we will meet again soon, I promise. <laughs> His fine days are over. He might still walk, though. Yeah. But he will never, you know, fight because. That's going to be difficult, yeah. yeah. Nothing left for me to do but wave and smile. got a pretty narrow view of what it means to be a hero. Do you know that? <laughs> Ready for Dola? You think they're all forged in the fires of battle? That it's all about being brave and killing villains? Alpha No and the others will carry on their fight. But theirs isn't the only one. There are other ways you can make a difference. If you stop feeling sorry for yourself and put your bloody mind to it. <laughs> Just giving encouraging talks. There's not much chance of me living the quiet life with you around, is there? <laughs> <laughs> if you're content to twiddle your thumbs thinking of what might have been, that's your lookout. But I reckon you've got some fight left in you. <laughs> and I reckon you might be right. If there's a way I can still help my friends, I'll bloody well find it. <laughs> Just for dollars. I ship it. Yeah, I ship it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there it is. The dreaded white circle. Oh, for God's sake, okay. Ali say. Oh, Ali! Yeah. You can tell me later what that was all about, but judging by the set, the set of Alvano's jaw, it appears to have done him some good. Pankrat and the others have already left the Rising Stones, and according to the communications officer, Amalja and Cobalt forces are also bound for Cardinal as we speak. They mean to keep the promise they made to Alamigo, and we must do the same, by saving as many of their tempered as, pos kin as possible. Anyway, the airship is ready to depart. We should get going. <coughs> oh. Yeah, okay, we know. Oh, okay. Woo, here we go. Woo! Finale Shadowbringer. Yeah, the transition. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Well, it's not the end of Shadowbringers. This is literally like the actual start of uh, Shadowbringers already ended when it beat the Warrior yeah. of Light. That's the end of Shadowbringers. This is just the transition to Endwalker. Yeah. So this is the setup for Endwalker. Hey, everyone. Mm-hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. My fellow Scions, as I am sure you will have heard, we can expect no help from Charlie, nor are we any closer to discerning the Telophoroi's grand design. Mm -hmm. And now, our adversary moves against us in unprecedented numbers. Compelling us to answer in kind. The outlook, in short, is bleak. Yet though our foes are many, and we but few, we may still tip the balance in Eorzea's favor. Of course. We will do what we always do. Deal with the ones our allies can't. A less than daunting prospect, judging by your expression. Could it be that you've dispelled your lingering doubts, Alphino? Oh, 
I doubt I ever will. But as my friends have kindly reminded me, I have come this far, and that must count for something. Mm -hmm. God be good, Alphino. That's what we've been trying to tell you all along. Yeah. <laughs> for one so bright, you can be remarkably dim at times. <laughs> there is such a thing as overthinking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Kickstart by Astidia, that's a good thing. <laughs> Might I suggest that we continue this conversation after the battle? It would appear that Telophoroi have already arrived. Mm -hmm. I'll do what I can to cure the Tempered, but they'll have to be incapacitated first. Have care, my friends, for none can say wherefore our foe did choose this fateful field to be our battleground. Whatever may transpire. Pray grant him not the pleasure of deterring you. Hey. And now my webcam's blocked. Oh no, Kitty's going back down. She's not laying comfortably there. She's just laying there, but she's not comfortable. That's why I keep saying, go lay somewhere else than in front of the screens, you stupid cats. But you always do it. <laughs> because I can keep an eye on them then. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a. <laughs> I was about to say. That's well, friends. The teleport is swapping across to Carno. As we be briefly spotted above the center, but and has since vanished. Thank you, watch, yeah. Thus, the movements of the Lunar Primus have proven difficult to predict. Even when po poised to ambush our troop, they instead withdraw. Whatever the true reason, reason. the tough may be, the primals are our prime. So we're gonna fight every primal here. Understood. Okay. They will not elude the si silence for long. Okay. Oh, Lord! This is a big battle. Could have been on a bridge. Okay, going to do the fight and conquer. Huh? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I have to go west. There's so many of us! Yeah, uh, don't worry, you'll be, it, it will be redirected in a moment. I don't see any primals. I'm gonna go with your favorite estate. You're gonna lead the tribe of Estinian in a moment. Yay! And Alphadel's joining our support. <laughs> what the heck? As the sign spread across the field, Alize and Gra Gra take the fight to the Teleferoi. Oh, we're gonna play as as every one of them. We're gonna do split storylines. So now we have to. <laughs> cool. So next you play as Alice and Gratia. Also, Gratia is using a sword and a shield. That's really awkward. <laughs> You're not there yet, but you'll see in a moment. Yeah, you play as Alice. This is not how the Red Rage plays, by the way. Uh. 
I should. Just the beginning. Got the Gratia. Oh. Yeah. Two is the melee combo, by the way. It will keep changing until you're done with it, so use that with caution. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm already in the next section. Do you see that? Um, I'll wait till you're at the, the, the sentence so you can catch up. <laughs> yeah. Just keep using your two. Now it's magic. For holy and then for flare. Your four, your four is ready. Use it. Don't stand there. You got it. You got it. You, yeah. You have me. Do you cast? The, you can cure, spam cure. Uh, just keep using your two. Okay. No, 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 don't go near Gratia with that. Too late now, it didn't take a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Good job, you're done. I'm gonna get, gonna have to do one little action, that's it. Follow him. And that's it, you're going into cutscene mode. Do we have to do something? Yeah, you have to click, uh, yeah, you have to just click him and then... You have to click Angelo. And then you go into cutscene mode. You know who's that? Is there? <clears throat> of 
course. <coughs> mm-hmm. Oh yeah, when Alice says the glyph, then we're there, then you're where I am, and then we can yeah. continue. Do you see that? The glyph? Yes. How worried should we be? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Listen well and judge for yourself. Though I can see ethereal currents, I had not thoroughly examined those that flow through the heart of Cartano. But now that I am here, things have become clear. The flats conceal an ethereal co confluence, like to the pillars of the uh, Azim step, but greater in skill, far greater. So there's a lot of ether here, and he wants to use that. Oh god. The glyphs that Fan Daniel has conjured reach into its very de midst. And I believe I know their purpose. Should the Lunar Primals destroy them, it would spark a chain reaction with the potential to obliterate the confluence entirely. The resultant disruption of the flow of ether would sow chaos among the elements, prompting earthquakes, floods, and tempests large enough to lay waste to the realm. Yikes! That he would go so far come of his little surprise. We must needs protect the confluence at all costs. So he's meant to overflow everything and then cause a world to chain a disaster. Yeah. Which is kind of like the final days. So yeah, he's not kidding. He is uh, recreating uh, the final days. Is that Odin? Yeah. Uh, is that Odin? So the time to pit my blade against him. Follow my lead. And we're playing as uh, another Who class. Oh, pick sign is uh, AOE. So the confluence is what you have to protect. Supposed to do that, huh? Right. Ah, they're doing the lunar attack thing. Everybody else has to heal the confluence every time. Oh wait, you gotta heal that thing? Okay, shoot, yeah. shoot. Thanks for telling me. You're playing as a healer, so I wasn't surprised that you could heal it. No, okay, I was not surprised. I, I did not expect you to be able to heal that thing. Yeah, so keep it healed. It will help you. <laughs> Probably help you from a fail. And you use fixed sign. Yeah. It's a barrier. Okay, shit. 
Yeah. <coughs> That's how he fought Odin again, but I'm surprised how he got it. Are you doing ultimate sunset token? <laughs> just hit him hard when he does it. Yeah, just hit him. Not that hard. Let's keep casting on him. Bye, oh, oh, Odin. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> Odin. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Boom. That's one done. Meanwhile, Gratine and I say prepare to lock soy with the Lunar Ravana. So we're going back to Alice and Gratia to fight Ravana. I'm glad we get to fight Odin again. Oh, you, know to, you know how to play I'm as. I think girl. we're playing as Gratia. Yeah, you're playing as Gratia this time. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, he's, he's Black Mage mode. Yeah, you should make sure a black and white mage. Uh. I'm gonna give this thing a, a medica, so... Oh god. Use break to stop the things from moving. The, the mob from moving. Cast break to keep the 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 enemies away. You spot. Yeah. What is break? That is your six. Thanks for telling me. Please tell me this was a checkpoint at the very least. If not, this is going to be a long duty. You probably should put it on easy because. Thank God. Oh. Thank God. Yeah. Cause that would have been rude. The thunder is the AOE. You have to do the Odin fight again. Oh no! Thank God. Oh, I was about to rage. Uh.
nice, how they say. Ah! Yeah, you that means you're going. Uh, you just. I cleared it. Poof. Tell them why you stand shoulder to shoulder with Alnus to lay off Lunar Ifrit low. Okay, so Ifrit is the one you fight next. <coughs> I can't pause, I'm sorry. I have to keep going. It's fine, it's fine. Uh. Not a bitch. You can't touch me. They will start moving after a while anyway. And they gotta re-break him and then you gotta kill him. And it's just the Ifrit fight, by the way, so don't worry, there's no re weird thing going on. nails again. again. Oh. Uh, nice job, Pristinian. Obsidian.
The level is no longer synced. So that's, this is the last fight. Well, at least now we're on sword went. Oh god, this thing. Yeah. Asinian is showing the way. Mm hmm. And thus another plan went up in smoke. I am beginning to see why Lord Xenos thinks so highly. I'll wait till you have to defend Daniel's uh, speech fart. Of course it's gonna be. Um. Wait till they blow, wait till they blow, and doom. Yeah. Uh, don't focus on the on this part. Just ignore him. Ignore him if you can. Okay, you can't. Just hit one. But uh, you can't. You won't kill him. <laughs> Guess who's gonna do the job? Of course. <laughs> Boom. Thanks, man! And... Guess what? Yeah. It's now just hit Ifrit. Just keep hitting Ifrit. Just let uh, the healing be done by Alpha now. Mm-hmm. Yay! Woohoo! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas indeed. Timing. Shut up. <laughs> it's voice, so don't worry. You don't have to do any vo voice acting. Okay. Not that this changes anything, you understand. You have merely earned yourself a stay of execution. Waiting to click the next one. Where are you right now? Same as you. Just continue. Conti okay. Click. There. We're synced up again. And he pisses off. Of course he does. It's like he just won. He doesn't even care that we just keep stopping his plans. Like. Alpha now is healing someone again. What is her hoot? Nope, didn't make it. That was an actual guardian soldier, by the way. Yeah, I know. <sighs> mm-hmm. How fair the tempered. Mm -hmm. We've treated as many as we can. 
but some were beyond help. Girl and old soldiers. Mm -hmm. Forksies. Yeah, being the tempered, even some of the guardian soldiers. Yeah. Brethren could be saved. We are grateful for those whose minds have been restored. Mm -hmm. You could do no more, and that is enough. So please hold your heads high. <clears throat> oh, I should have been quicker, but I'll do better next time. <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. They mean a lot. A victory at great cost. But a victory nonetheless. We must stay strong and press on. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. To the very end. Well, we've come this far. <laughs> Snarky. Oh, I did a Stark face. <laughs> to the very end. It really must count for something. He has a laugh, too, because I did this jokey <laughs> thing. Oh. The moon! Yep. The hint for Endwalker, the moon. Shadowbringer's theme, also cat in front of my... <laughs> my face being covered by cat ear. We get Shadowbringer's theme one more time. Oh, it's, oh, glowing. Like, it's, it's glowing. It's glowing. It's glowing. Yeah. Gold of sudden. So yeah, we noticed that. Something's off. Credits. We're finally in Endwalker, so can... Guys, we're very good music. Yes, Kip, we're here. <laughs> uh, twins. They get to see some it's artwork. very nice artwork. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I can still see you, Kip. <laughs> No. Well, Endwalker's postgame has ended. Oh, you're in the middle of it. Yeah, we're gonna go there. It's voiced by Ken. <laughs> Bankrupt! They call him Ken. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kaya, Lena. Tech look. China's. Oh, there's rain. What's up, the thing? to 
Shadow Shadowbringer's theme is really is really good. You stole her. Mm -hmm. It's a very... How would I say this? Cliffhanger ending. Uh, Danny boy. No, daddy's home. That's the joke. People have call it the, the riding home part daddy's home. Or Danny boy, yeah. That's Crystal Exarch. Yeah. Hey, Lynx. Oh, daar lag hier. lag in the cast. <laughs> That's why Kitty was looking at the... At the there. She was there the whole time. It's a card, Nero. Oh. Alright, Bert. <laughs> Second order Patriarch Zada. <laughs> you can just call him Zada, but okay. To the end. The end. Then Daniel. Won't end. And then we get to the Crystarium theme. Mm -hmm. Now we get the flashback scenes. Do you want to skip ahead? Uh, sure. Because otherwise, speak to Emmerich to finish the quest. Okay. Emmerich! And then we just change character, and then we change our classes back to our main ones. Yeah, and we go, we leave to... Yeah. I trust you all enjoyed a comfortable flight aboard the pride of the Ishgardian fleet. Lest you worry, the Bonanza has been towed to a nearby location to, retrie to retrieve the jerk convenience. <sighs> it's mine. <laughs> you have thought, you have thought of everything, Lord Emmerich. And how? And may I say how much I appreciate the hospitality you afforded us on the way home. Think nothing of it. Our destination lay in the same direction, and afforded me the perfect opportunity to learn how my errand friend has been since the last he took his leave. <laughs> <laughs> it would seem you have finally found a place to settle down. Hmph. I may really grew weary of wandering the Far East. <laughs> Returning to more serious matters at hand, while Telephoro has been driven from Cardinal, it's likely the bulk of their forces yet remain. On the evidence of the Grand Company of Heroes' first joint military operation, however, I'm confident that we might have the potential to, to meet such threats heads on, even without aid of you and yours. <coughs> As such, while our forces to keep the Telephoro at bay, I would ask you to apply your talents to the task of neutralizing the towers. A sensible division of labor. While the towers remain, so too will the threat of the lunar primals. Mm -hmm. And given our expertise in the field of aphorology, we are better qualified to find a solution. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that we are, especially should it happen to be lie beyond the Alliance's domain. There is a time and place for formal investigations, of course, but certain the secrets uh, won't hide where only the enterprising individuals may venture. I could not agree more. Um, there are none better suited to the task, nor any upon who, am I, who I would rely. <coughs> My throat's giving out in a moment. Hey, Gratia. On behalf of the Alliance, I thank you. We look forward to receiving any information you'll be able to uncover. And with that, I may take my leave. Should you have the need to for assist of assistance, pray do not hesitate to ask. Fare you well, my friends. Bow, bow. I confess, I hope to able to study towers more closely, vital as they're playing the arts to the Telephoy's plans. If we discern their ultimate function, we'll be one step close to understanding our enemy's grand scheme. Should we succeed in neutralizing them, of course. It is all but certain that the Telephoy would mount an all-out invasion. And then it will begin. The one who awaits at the heart of the chaos will come for us. For you. Yet in the end, our true nemesis may be the calamity to end all calamities. The final days themselves. 
Yes, all right, Alphano. We need a plan, not portents. As Fancred so eloquently pointed out, we are in the position to seek information from all manner of places, not least. Charlian. According to Kryl, the forum has been more secretive than ever of late. This may be related to the appearance of the Telephoroi, there remains a matter of speculation. One thing is clear, the forum is determined to keep us from discovering the truth. Master uh, Fortunal perfor performance at the Lotus Stand was enough to convince me of that. The matter bear a further investigation. I do hardly concur. Nor can I think of a more promising place to look for the answers to we seek on the matter of the powers. Charlian has have ever been the wellspring of our philological knowledge. I care not where we go, here or there, my lands will be ready. Mm -hmm. And what of you, Jernum? Might I persuade you to join us? And bureaucrats, have you no other choice? <laughs> <laughs> Plot of course for Charlian! If it means I can have some over I can have a word with Fortunal. With mine, Alice says, only after I do. Alphano says, here, here, it is time we laid bare the Telephoroi's dark designs. It appears we are in agreement. Uh, okay, we if have you have to wait, we have okay, wait go ahead. for crowds to procure the necessary permissions. In the meantime, there is a matter I would investigate. Does it involve tall structures? By a strange coincidence, it does. At present, I have only a quick suspicion, but with your help, I will soon find out whether my fears are warranted. Mm -hmm. Shush. Dun, dun, da, dun, da, 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 da. This is the last time we're going to hear that one. Yeah. Well, unless we do side quests in those in those expansions, but. Yeah, Story wise, okay. never again. Be well in the Guardian capital. God damn it! He ligt daar om te maar ja, mag ik krijgen. Of course, he's killing uh, his own for fun. Yeah, he's yep. got his scythe. Whoa. Jesus Christ! That thing looks epic. It does look epic. <laughs> Certainly are a oh, this is bunch, though I suppose you knew that already. My plan to redirect the ether from Cartano came to a rather less than satisfactory conclusion. It was, in many respects, an abject failure. <laughs> Which does, of course, raise the question of where we are going to procure the requisite amount. The obvious solution would be to draw on resources a little closer to home, though that would require our dreamer to dream a trifle more deeply. The dreamer? What? So be it. The dreamer. The dreamer? Oh, he's the dreamer. Then let us begin oh, the preparations okay. at once. With the gateway of the gods complete, all that remains is to gather the necessary ether, and our prize shall be within reach. Uh, look at that thing in the background. Ugh, I don't even want to know what the fuck that is. I can take a guess. The time has come to fulfill your heart's desire. My desire! To relieve those wretched creatures of their meaningless existence! Ugh. While I await you, Ooh! I shall drink a sea of souls and gorge myself upon the darkened moon. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> You shall come to me, all roiling rage and rancor. <laughs> A 
and the stars shall bear witness to our final contest. Hmm. I didn't like that shout. What's that? That that was a what dra was that? that was a dragon. Was that a dragon? It didn't sound like a dragon. It sounded uh, I don't even know. Huh? Anyway. Huh? Anyway, before we even start with the next mission. Still another cutscene after. Really? Yes. Right now, the next expansion. The ethereal currents have been disturbed here too. Mm hmm. In a moment, Kibatu. Because we have the next expansion. Ah, fuck it, y'all. It was the same in Thanalan. Make that every location we surveyed. Ah, they still got uh, what they wanted. And the strength of each current has diminished dramatically. Far more than could be attributed to a natural occurrence. Mm hmm. So basically put, it didn't matter what we did. That was just another plan, but they already were, they already had more plans ready. Well, we stopped them the, the worst case scenario at least. Yeah, but that was just a, that was just one of their backup plans. Number of readings. Hmm. And notice that the closer we were to the tower, the lower the etheric density became. In short, mm -hmm. the towers are drawing upon the land's ether, which would explain how they were able to carry out the summonings. I see. Ah. Our allies must be informed of this. We should return to the Rising Stones and have Tataru relay our findings to them. Mm -hmm. Hear me. Hear me. Oh, I've started the head. Oh, darkness comes, <gasps> and with and it. Uh, hi, hi, Galen. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what. That's her, that's her Asian form. Well, you know, her old form. Yeah. Yeah, see, that's her uh, Amuro's form, because yeah. we know that someone became Hydaelyn, and I think... Yeah. So, that was Hydaelyn herself. Well, her heart as well. Yeah, that's the person who became her heart. Mm-hmm. Everything all right back there? We're like, duh! Mm -hmm. Well, she spoke to us as loud as she could. Yeah. At a solemn dawn, grim purpose shines in gazes cast towards the moonlit sky. Yeah, sorry, I have to read this because it's appearing right now for me. Thus those are final curtain rise, your steps to guide what what ends besides. Grim. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh woo. We have arrived! Yeah. <laughs> Under the darkened moon. Ah, ah. Ah. Uh, okay. Anyway, whoop! Yeah. Change back to our normal classes. You're the drag. Okay, I'm the dark knight. Um, you're the dragoon. Log out, I guess, to get the cutscene. Um, how about we just accept the next quest and then log out, so we're not in here. Ready? We have to st we start here anyway. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Alpha no. The next ship to sail. Ooh, god. Accept. Chernum, do you have a? Do you have some time to talk? I would like to gather everyone in Dawn's respite uh, together to assess the situation in which we find ourselves. Okay, we need to go into cutscene, so... Okay. Another quick cutscene. New music already. Mm-hmm. Let us 
take stock of the fact, shall we? The crisis at hand began with the sudden appearance of an of ominous stars in a multitude of locations throughout the world. So we have since learned that said structures were brought into being by an organization known as Tele Teleferoi, aka Recap. The Teleferoi yeah. stated the purpose to recreate the final days of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already these towers of theirs have been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned. Their faith preferred for their primal summonings. And unless we find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding these fires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. Mm -hmm. Those shielded with the blessing of light seem able to resist being tempered, at least. Mm -hmm. But after what happened to Armwolf and Fordola, we need to be very, very careful about how we proceed. And yet, while these threats, threats close to home are paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of what, of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Teleferoi are under the leadership of Vandalio and the one delightful fellow, Zeno Jaegelvis, the crown prince and our dear friend. To date, he has claimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varys, and plunged Garlemald into a deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. And a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Succession. But that's since changed, and in troubling ways. Aye, during our reconnaissance, the air was not not once rent, rent by the barking of cannons or by cries of discord. It was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket the ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered. And with nary a word spoken that they labor to transform the palace into a soaking edifice born of nightmares. Mm -hmm. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume <clears throat> that these events too mm -hmm. were orchestrated by the Teleferoi. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, I fear it is only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly, before our allies are overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. We will find a way in Charlian. I'm sure of it. Master Fortunal com comments regarding the Foundays were as curious to say the least. The forum knows more than it's letting on. We've just received word from Mistress Kral. She says that arrangements for your visit have been finalized. You're to head to Limsa Lumins and board the next ship bound for Charlian. And on arrival, present yourselves as associates of the students of Baldessian. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. Uh, ear wiggle. The arrangement may be settled, but what of your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. I'm eager to see it, of course, of course. Um, <clears throat> we should set off at once! <coughs> then I'll accompany you to the docks. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and wish you a safe journey. Mm -hmm. New music! I've heard this music already, but I, I forgot what it was like. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> okay, and now we uh, go outside, and then we log out. And then we call it there. Okay. So we end with the cutscene, with the trailer. Mm hmm Okay. But first... What? Oh, when you're out, I need, you need to see something real quick. Oh, if, God. if you get to see me. Because sometimes you just get warped to another area. It should be in Mordona. Yeah, I'm also in Mordona, but you're still loading. Ah, oh, there you are. I finally got the face mask! <laughs> nice! <laughs> finally got that Pfizer I wanted. I decided to grind for it uh, while leveling up some things. Alright. So now, <coughs> I have the face mask. Nice. Alright. Log out! Yeah, let's log out.
Let's get that trailer. Be wait before before you do anything. I'm turning off your Discord for a moment because uh, then we. Okay, go for it. Okay. I'll just cook. I'll just stop streaming. Yeah. Okay. Um, and titles. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Creative business unit, unit two. Three. No. There's the moon. Moon! Moon! Mm -hmm. That's the of that's the warrior of light. Yeah. At least he's standing. Mm-hmm. Moon! Ah. Moon! Square Enix. <laughs> okay, that was clever. Mm -hmm. Ugh, map on fire. Oh, God. Woo, new outfit. Yeah, that's her end walker that's outfit. Looking... That's looking cool. Mm -hmm. Oof. Bang. Warrior Blight. Yeah. Is the paladin, I guess? Yeah. Ah. You know? Ah. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, Elfie. Yep. Sage. <laughs> Heaven's Word music. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Tiamat. That's not Tiamat. Face is different. Look like Tiamat. I'm supposed to have Wait, what? Okay, who were you then? Petra, that's a new one. Okay. <coughs> Whoa. Stormblood music. Pan Daniel. Hmm. Whoa, what the fucking hell? Boeing. That's uh, the, that's a Luna Will. That's a new location. That's Charlia, I guess. Mm -hmm. No, that's Charlia. Okay. Whoa! See it? You recognize the structures, right? Whoa! Look at the right Yeah. Shadowbringers. Ishtola. Mm 
back to Endwalker music. That's a trailer. <laughs> okay. And so, well. with that, shall we call it? Yep, sounds good. And Walker, before we hit 2023. Yay! Remember, people, stay charts and see you all in the next stream. Bye. <laughs>